Sorry, what? We're meant to be Wait. starting. We are meant to be starting. The only person that throws off at the moment is Hudson. Um, yes. Hello. Oh, Welcome, no. everybody. Uh, Uzu Maker will be with us shortly. His computer has completely 
shit itself. So, welcome to Ignition Point, a fortnightly Dungeons and Dragons game in a custom setting, uh, in the custom setting of Avani. Uh, these are your wonderful crew members. Yes, Hudson Valcor will be with you shortly. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Perfect angle right there. Uh, make sure I've got everything up and running. I didn't even have the game open. That's great. Excuses. Yes, no. Uh, ev <laughs> Hello, evil one. It's wonderful to have you here. Uh, everyone was just wondering when you're going to join us as a player, because I will day 567 of asking you to join us. Hee <laughs> hee. There's barely room for him on the screen. That's in budget. Oh, yeah, you're all in the corners. Love that. Um, I think my also, it's up top it says ignition point number two. This is number three. Isn't this four? Three. Is it four? Three? Aha, three. Thank you. Three. No, it's supposed to be Hang number it. three. Yes. Not oh, there he is. He's back. He has returned. Hey. I'm good. Hey, Ty. I missed you. I was, I was, we missed, I missed you. you too, baby boy. I was told Tees, I was telling Tees on Saturday, they've fucking ruined the power supply around this area. Oh, no. oh yeah, your sure, street, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure someone tried to make a meth lab, and I'm pretty sure if you don't go to high school, it may be a little bit hard to understand how to make a meth lab. No, just what, and I don't know, what would they be plugging in for a meth lab? Mostly it's like gas burners. Someone yeah. tell or, them that. or they're like, oh, you know, we're going to use fucking induction stoves. <laughs> I don't know, but they there was like a loud bang like a week ago, and since then the power just randomly like shuts down, and like the the like local council has just been like, oh yeah, we're we're dealing with it, but there was like a whole bunch of cop cars. Oh, we're supposed to have oh, music. Yeah. I don't know uh, if anyone can hear the music. It's saying that there's no music though. My God, I don't think you can use that word in a song. Which the word in a song? Music? Don't say it. <laughs> Don't you dare start talking about cat people again. <laughs> I'd love to hear with you. <laughs> oh dear. How is everybody anyway? I just how, don't like furless cats. You don't like furless cats? Well, we discovered, we discovered that on Saturday. We discovered that on Saturday, but now you're working for one. See, but I, I love cats. Hate furless cats. Like, they just creep me out. They should have fur. You love cats, every kind of cat? Yeah, I do actually. Except, oh, I don't like the really ugly ones. Cats, cats to me have to be prettier. I'm not interested. And that's not I hate them. It's just I'm not interested in them if they're not pretty. But pretty is subjective. So what does that even mean? Because, <laughs> you know, there's like cats with squished faces that people might not like, but other people might love. See, I don't, I'm not against anyone who doesn't like them. Just because it's not my cup of tea doesn't right. mean that it's who, not finds, who finds pugs cute? No. Well, I uh, think they're so dopey that it makes they them can be. Oh, they can be. They can be. It gets overridden by the health issues for me. Yeah. I, just get, I just get sad when I look at them because I'm like, they are innately cute, but then I think about like their breathing problems and I'm like, oh, I'm Well, depressed. and they've been bred that way, unfortunately. Yeah, exactly. There's so, nothing they can do about it. Yeah. Boxers, bulldogs, terriers, they're all the same. They're Have all you seen those appropriately bred pugs where they got like long snouts? Yeah, they're, they're kind of oh, yeah. cute. They're they're cute as hell. I love the fact that we've started this. I don't know if any music is playing because I can't hear anything. Can't so. hear anything. Out of ignition point or you, in the stream? In the stream. Oh my god! Why is I can hear Kevin? Oh my god! Why is I can hear me. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. There's no music in the stream. No, no. Okay, well, I'll see if I can talk. Oh, so. look at this old man with his TV remote to oh, control the stream. Damn, <laughs> Nothing but you don't Hold need. on! Let me turn it up, Sonny! <laughs> That's because I've got me... You know, I've, I had, I had to make you louder, Clint, because you're so quiet. And he's I real he's quiet. very quiet. Look, I've been at 200, 200 and he's still real quiet. Yeah, so yeah, do I. still quiet, Clint. What's that, Scotty? I'm this on 50%. This is on Clint's end, I think. Oh, wait. No, now you're too quiet, Ty. Is this better? <laughs> 100. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Better? Yeah. Nah. yeah. Too much? Yeah. No, that's good. Okay. You gotta say something in, as Hudson Hall. Oh what yeah, the... actually, that is the metric. I don't really want to. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. What is this that you've invited me to, Kevin? I, that, I didn't I'm mean to invite it. you to that. Oh. It. It's a trap. Well, I'll leave it then. 
Well, for Fuck whatever you. reason, it doesn't want to play the music, and that makes me sad. So, no music I, tonight. I left it, Kev, and my reason for leaving was wasn't meant to be invited. <laughs> it was the royalty gaming one, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's a Pokemon card thing. Ignore that. Heaven's cool clinks. Why are they all capital Ks? <laughs> I got a bit. Right. Moving on to the actual bit. stream. Moving Let's on to the actual stream. Started. So, for yeah. anyone who didn't catch last stream, or, you know, is catching us for the first time, what happened last stream two weeks ago? We got fucked. Oh. <laughs> I saw a Minotaur burn down an entire establishment and I was not pleased. I saw really? definitely not different. a Minotaur do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I particularly like the part where Caladelia turns to the bartender and goes, give me your highest proof alcohol. And he goes, uh, we don't serve alcohol here. This and place is a shithole. Let's go somewhere else. Imagine not serving alcohol. I don't really think we have much of a choice now. It's burnt to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, the only, right? person, the only person who saw me throw the torch was Doc, and he's turned around and said the Minotaur burnt the place down. So you motherfuckers don't know any better. Yeah, I'm not saying nothing, mate. A budge don't know shit. Steven yes. knows that you <laughs> fuck <laughs> up. I re realistically, I should have just, you know, kidnapped myself, so. The yeah, group... you should have. Oh. It's a flawless strategy. It works every time. The group did, Six. in fact, fight uh, a minion Rocco. of Don Delamanga, Roscoe. Roscoe. Um, who? I like Rocco better. So Don Delavenga is the leader of the Rojo gang, which Caladelia and Kevin are aware of this, uh, um. which they do know that he is a no good, not very nice man. No, no good, conniving bastard. And he's only got more vicious after the death of his accountant several years ago. <laughs> Nobody was found. It was very mysterious. However, after saving a little old lady, which Cal did do, so you set the fire, but you save people from it, so... Oh, didn't set fucking anything. It won't hold up in court. However, as you are Is all standing out, if you're, as you are all standing out in the streets of Ember's Den watching... Watching the charming barman outpost slowly crisp away. A charming the carbon. Budge. Everything hurts. All yeah. of your all of your mechanical synapses are firing that everything hurts. <laughs> yeah, I'm not in a good way. Lay your healing hands on yourself. And also, I jumped out a different window from everyone else, so I don't, I don't know if people know where I am. I don't know if I can walk. No one's quite sure why you, you did that, of, but... You're kind of just laying in the sand, groaning mechanically to yourself. Actually, no, I know why I did it. Also, as you are laying there, Budge, as you are laying there, though, you do feel in your little um, compartment where you keep your coin purse, a little rustle and chinking noise as a little golden rat deposits... Ten gold in your pocket as oh, hello, fairy friend. Each of you also get ten gold, but as the coin rat decided to gift you thanks to Tide Runner. Oh James, you're too cute. <laughs> so helps to have powerful people in high places. You watch within Yeah, I was about to say, just give it a second, hold your breath, because I'm fairly certain that uh evil one is save is about to uh rob you all. Oh, come on, mate. Wow, that oh, doesn't sound like Craig. Right. Has <laughs> taken. That doesn't sound like Craig. Craig would never do such a thing. Craig, I thought we were homies, stage, It's either Craig or me who's going to do it. Let's be honest. Yeah. Well, now it's been done. Someone can give you individually gold. However, so, as your gold appears and mysteriously evaporates, Budge, you are lying in, in the sand, groaning mechanically. Stop mechanically to the end of things. Well, it's factual, though. I, I imagine he sounds kind of like Wally, just, whoa. Uh, <laughs> he's uh, not burning organically. Uh, not organically, no. There I is... think he's just, guys, he's just groaning. <laughs> no, I don't, I'm groaning his mechanically. Voice, his I... voice box has kind of uh, twisted itself and kind of 
landed out, misplaced itself, misaligned itself. It's a whole Bumblebee situation, just different voices coming out. Oh, can so you just talk through changing. the radio, please? So, do you, do you have healing yourself, or...? Um, can I can I fix myself with my like tinkers tool? You can fix yourself. You also have lay on hands if you want to return your hit points. But yeah, you do have to actually to actually yeah. patch up the parts that have kind of fallen off you. You do have to sit there with the tinkers yeah. tools. So you sit up and start. You pull out your tinkers tools and start reassembling with little screws and stuff. As a little girl comes over to you, hands you your shoulder piece, which was had landed. About three feet away. I can't control my hands. <laughs> I got no fingers. Yeah, your my your fingers are, are your your hands are shaking <laughs> as you're trying to use these uh, tools, budges. You're trying to because you are feeling pretty pretty messed up. Are your so. knees weak? Are your arms heavy? There is vomit on my chest plate already. <laughs> <laughs> Tavern spaghetti. <laughs> I can barely move at this point. I'm just, I'm just lying there, groaning love... very mechanically, just uh, like, uh, 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 uh. As the rest of you are standing there, uh, Cal appears. Oh, no, Cal. Even Cal went through a different window. I think actually. Yeah. I'm on the other side of the building to everyone else. You put the yeah. little old lady down. And she looks up at you with her little soot streaked face. Oh, thank you, dear. No worries, darling. Just remember, the Minotaur did that, and I point to the fire as I walk away. Weird thing to say, the little old lady says. <laughs> <laughs> as you go I have to... brushed my hands off the fire. You Nothing walk so, around but... the side of the building to see Budge there with his shaking hands trying to uh, turn a, a spanner to reassemble himself. Yeah, uh, Al. Help me. <laughs> oh, Budge. Pain. Immense oh. pain. Pain. Oh, Budge, I'm so sorry. And can I can I give him a hand? You can certainly attempt to give him a hand. Roll your tinker's tools again, Budge, with advantage. Hopefully, roll better this time. <laughs> we'll try. I'm not a very dexterous boy. You got a plus two. That's all right. Yeah. See. Oh. Budge, you know, best friend stick stick together in the style of the ghost movie cal comes around you and wraps his hands around your metal oh, fist and budge. starts to help twist is and that a screwdriver in your pocket or are you just happy to see me reconnecting cables and wires <laughs> i'm slightly uncomfortable now that i can speak again <laughs> um, i shouldn't have had a drink of water it was so hard not to spit it <laughs> As you're standing there, uh, cow, Erdox comes over to you. Oh, no. Did you really need to set fire to everything? I didn't set fire to everything. It was the big minotaur I came complaining about. You know, the one that shot me in the fucking stomach? Oh, you mean after you came down to my bar, asked for alcohol, then drained an entire oil lump? You don't think I, I couldn't see that? You d definitely. I needed to see the hole in my chest, if I'm quite honest. And then I went upstairs and he knocked it out of my <laughs> hands and the whole place burnt down. And that's the end of that. Uh-huh. Roll me deception. I bravely fought him off, if that counts for anything. Roll me he deception. He did. He was a very brave man. This is the most deceptive oh. deception rolls. Oh, I roll an 18 on deception. He kind of looks at you and he's like, oh, that's fair. I can understand. Don Delavenga's man, he can be a bit shifty. Yay, Cal's a hero. So um, about the the room that we paid for that's now in fucking ashes. You mean like we all of the money that I had in there too? Well, yes, that sounds like an issue, not an issue me, but... <clears throat> Where am I meant to stay? <laughs> that sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. Okay, well, agree to disagree, and let's... Did you live in there too? I don't know. It was my only possession in the world, Cal. Well, that's... That 
Honestly, that does sound a bit like an Ishmi, doesn't it? Um, you know any other good taverns that we can stay at that are a bit more fire? It depends. Are you planning on pissing off any other mobsters tonight? Because let's be honest, I don't want other tavern owners to go what I've gone through. All because he you apparently shot me. Yes, but you clearly did something to send him after you. I... I'm sorry, but your little boy's walking around putting fucking X's on doors, having people robbed. Did you disrespect him? Disrespect who? The, the, the child? Yes, a child is a person, Cal. Oh my god. If he's Cal's old not enough, the best with children. Cal, if he's old enough for employment, he's old enough to be respected as a man. I do respect him as a man. I told him, the, the only conversation I've had with this child is, go next door, the man in the cowboy hat will give you your money. Then so that... maybe go and take it up with Doc, because I simply pointed him in the direction of the money. Okay, but again, that sounds like you need to take it up with Doc, because you are working together. Okay, so anyway, we're, we're going to find a slightly more fireproof form of accommodation, if I'm honest with you. Um, you Might need to I talk to your temple. I'm not quite the Christian man you think I am, uh, but who's... What, what, what's Christian? Oh, it's Budge's Lord and Savior. Um, but no, the issue oh, here no. is <laughs> the issue here is your little whippersnapper is the one who brought trouble into your own bar, not us. So don't. I mean, it's not the first time it happened. How come you didn't just pay him the? 20 gold. I don't remember ever asking to tip the help. Oh, no, no. Why didn't you just pay Roscoe 20 gold? It gives you a modicum of protection. Oh, I'm sorry. For... I didn't get an option. I said, hey, mate, maybe you shouldn't be locking on doors. And he said, kabam, as he shot me in the fucking stomach. Remember that? I, well, I wasn't there, so no. Oh, you were there for the aftermath, but. Yes, but usually... He goes, give me some money, you give him 20 gold, and you're covered for about a week. And Dondella's people make sure that they don't mess with you. I knew he seemed like a good person. Oh, Budge, not right now. He wasn't a good person. He shot me in the fucking stomach. You probably deserved it. Budge, <laughs> not right now. They don't need to know that. Okay. I'm sure I deserve a lot more than just a shotgun through the stomach. Yeah. Um, so where is the rest? Of, are the rest of your party still up there burning to death? I mean, probably not. They're capable. I've got Budge. He's here. Fish out of water. Um, I'm not quite sure where the others are, but I'm sure they're around. You can hear Cal around the side of the building. You can hear Cal yelling <laughs> at Erdox. You hear from one of the roofs. Is he gone? <laughs> <laughs> See, Hudson's all right. I'm standing Don't around the corner. Runner. I'm standing around the corner, listening to Al and Budge. Not just purposefully not coming around the corner, just smoking a cigar, <laughs> making eye contact with Kevin. I'm, I'm not my head. <laughs> We're just shaking our heads at each other. <laughs> just like. I don't even know why he's still talking to him. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. He could have just left. Done. It's still going. We're kind of morbid curiosity, though. We want to see where it goes, you know? Yeah. Like, what is going to happen here? The fire department... When did, did the shirt come off? The, no, the fire department has shown up, and they're starting to uh, tidal wave the their way over. Damn. What? Are... They do not give a fuck about this man's possessions. They're just washing the house away. Yeah, dude, yeah, it is a place... There are so many places around you that are all topped with wooden structures. If they don't take out the one problem, it's not just going to be the issue. <laughs> I think we know who the problem is. Oh, it has helped it's that the war it has helped that a number of warlocks and sorcerers have shown up and just. <laughs> oh, does our has our buddy turned up? Uh, uh what's her Marley? name? Marley. Marley. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, she headed uh, off for the night. It's it's three a.m. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, we're also, like, right next to the school that they stay at, and there's this big fire. You'd think, like, someone would wake up. Oh, no, Maybe. they have, also, they have sent people over, but... Oh, okay. 
As if they're gonna send Marley over. She's killed the whole village. <laughs> She's probably like, in the principal's office. They're like, "Look, how the fuck did you cause this one, Marley?" You, you have there are there are like Ganassi and and things like uh, elemental people here who are trying to diminish it down and just trying to shrink it. So all this trouble from an oil lamp, like realistically, mm, is that in character or out of character? That's out of character. <laughs> <laughs> So eventually, right, Erdox right. eventually Erdox walks away to go talk to one of the town gu- the guardsmen. Um, as he to walks kind away, of... as he walks away, Doc um, positions himself like along his and just hands him fifteen gold. Um, I know it's not much, but just hopefully it helps. Oh, every every little bit helps. So thank you. Um, it's gonna take a bit for me to, uh, yeah. It's gonna take a bit for me to get back on board with this, but don't worry. The charming barman will end up somehow. I think the community, the community will come and. Well, especially because we're the closest tavern to the uh, university. I, I don't worry. I've got a feeling that the students will band together to help here. So you they know. ain't gonna stand for no drinks. That's for sure. Well, that's ex- that's exactly it. So. But thank you. Uh, if you need some help, I mean, if you don't want to travel too far, you can head over to the Silver Barrel. I know you were heading there in the morning, but... I'll tip my hat at him. Thanks for your help and your... I, I hope you didn't lose any of your belongings in the fire. I think I lost a pair of socks, yeah. But that's mm. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, they were my fluffy ones, but that's, that's okay, I can... Yeah, especially since find. especially since Cal tells me that uh, yeah, it was part of the Rojo gang's fault. So yeah, not that, much I can do for that. that Minotaur fella, but I I did hear you saying he was actually just offering protection. So is he actually trying to help us out, or it's more the fact more... that you know they keep people off adventures every now and then. You know, apparently Don Delavanga has an eye for talented adventurers likes to collect them to help him with services and things like that put them in contact with the pirate council at silver atoll and things like that so you know they were grippy socks sorry (laughs) i'm suddenly so turned on (laughs) that's how doc sleeps just with his grippy socks and his undies does he need room oh god does this mean that you're not dressed Doc, no, you're standing out the street. No, we were prepared for this. We were ready for action. Yeah. Do you not remember the the absolute mess that is? Where is everyone? Yeah, but I oh, knew that's I was right. Action, so I left my fluffy socks to the side and put on my combat socks. <laughs> oh, what are, can you describe your combat socks? They're heel toes. Like they've got yeah, um, steel socks. toes. No, his combat <laughs> socks actually have the little they're the little toes, like they got the little toe holes. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah. like toe, toe socks, no. Toe anyway. Socks. And then it's got grip right on each individual toe so that he yeah. can really gain purchase on it's something. It's just grung webbed. So- and then yeah, and then metal on top of them for if you have to kick anything. Each toe is a little steel cap. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's that's probably what you go if you go to like the combat shop. You'll find all these combat socks in the combat section. Well, because they, there the are section. well, there are people that who don't wear shoes for racial reasons. So oh, Jesus! Yeah. No, there well, are. They, there are. They, well, explain to me sport. how you. Well, I mean, they do provide shoes for Loxodon and for they might have and. Food. Like and the, yeah, and and yeah, centaurs. Not... Do you think centaurs go out and get little centaur-shaped hoof boots? Uh, Sorry, have... one more time. Question. What top? Centaur have... shoes. What are you? Centaur? Okay, I'm sorry. This or is now I, an interesting point. No, metal, it's centaur. Metal. It's centaur. Centaur. Addy, you. No, I, I know two you're... vowels in a row. Anyway, centaur. Anyway, centaur. No. Who pronounces things for a living in this call? <laughs> Just hands up if you do, quickly. Ty, you don't. Put your hand right down. <laughs> Although watching watching right. watching Ty play the uh, mechanic simulator, I'm, I worry that that's what he actually does for a job too. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, say hi to the crowd, Drop Bear. 
<laughs> he came in to steal chocolate from my chocolate box. Please hold it. Yeah, yeah throw it back. And, and Google says centaur. Time oh! to throw it back. Get fucking no, ready. That's, that's what Tegan was saying. So I don't know what you're saying, mate. Centaur! Isn't that what she was saying? No, I was saying centaur. No, she was saying centaur. It's oh, not okay. her. Yeah. Oh, well. Who's that thing for fucking... It's the same word, mate. And it also was, it depends uh, on where you're from and how you pronounce things. Oh, uh, well. you're from Australia. Don't start. <laughs> no, no, no. People in, like, Melbourne say things differently. Melbourne. 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 In Melbourne. Australia. Australia. Australia in that Melbourne. Okay, now that we've digressed. All right. So, Probably. yeah, so he bids you a farewell as he continues on the talking to the officers of the law, who for some reason are not remotely interested in any of you for starting mm. a fire. It's because we didn't. Allegedly, allegedly. Because there's no one say. that even suggested that. Exactly. exactly. We are not the fire the starters you were looking for. Just everyone else knows that Cal tried to burn Budge alive. <laughs> no, it's only it's only Doc that saw it. No, but out of character, we know. We know. Oh, okay. <laughs> out of character, it's burned into our souls forever. Yes. Uh, no, he he does. Yeah. So he does. He had explained to you that um, Don Delavenga does offer protection to people. At least it means that at least a lot of the mobsters around here would leave you alone for at least a week or so if you pay their protection fee. Yeah, if the mobsters want to fuck with us, man. Sorry, that's that's not in character. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's in character now. Let's go. If they, if the mobsters want to fuck with us, then that's okay. Okay. I'm not gonna say that because what if the guards right. hear? So he wanders from a roof. <laughs> so from a roof, you hear <laughs> my comic books. <laughs> oh no! I'll fly oh, back man. into the burning building. <laughs> There's a little. Fl- flume of pages you see of just ashen pages not- that are curling in the blackening smoke. You hear a little. You hear sobbing. You can't see him, <laughs> but you hear sobbing. <laughs> so, Erdox wanders away to go talk to the town guard, leaving Budge and Cal unattended. I'm going to start building a sandcastle. I mean, it is soft. We're gonna roll it is for soft, sand castle. It is soft, fine sand, so you're more building just a l- sand mound, but okay. That's a castle to budge. Okay. <laughs> budge but, doesn't know any better. Budge Until something just... happened. We probably started halfway through the conversation, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we heading to again? Oh, what did you suggest? The again? Silver Barrel Emporium up here. And if I'm not mistaken, we're oh, going to uh... travel with the All Blacks. Whoa. Yeah, well, we're going to the Silver Barrel Emporium anyway. Yeah, because we're yeah. meeting with their leader, Gerald. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, I Hudson. think... Yes, Gerald. Sorry. Hudson, you're going to join us? He better yell that out. He's on a roof. I'm yelling, okay? And sobbing loudly. <laughs> you yeah, he can't hear you right? over his sobs. <laughs> I'm coming. Can I help you, doggo? Oh, I'll meet you guys there. <laughs> I'll um, gesture at... Like, our... Well, is, is uh, Budge still on the ground, or...? Yeah, I'm doing all right, but I, I just, I just, I just didn't get up. Well, Cal was hey, talking. Bud, you've built a beautiful sandcastle, but we must be on our way. Okay. All right. Uh, we probably should get some sleep before we're traveling tomorrow. Uh, are you guys tired? Because I, I got a bit of a rest. I, 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 I could use a bit more of a rest. In all honesty. I'm Maybe just in immense pain. I, I look at my non-existent watch. Oh, yeah, it's, it's 3 a.m., so... You see, you see Hudson come down beside you, and he's a mess. There's blood everywhere. <laughs> Speak. Uh, has anyone tended to your wounds? Uh, uh, no. I rest my hand on Hudson's shoulder, and I say... I'm really sorry about your comic books, mate. I understand your loss. I lost something too once. Oh, but I can't help with the injuries. I'm I'll, I'll pat him on the side and say, feel better, Hudson. I'll, I'll do a healing word on you at least. 
um, for some hit points. So. Did it roll? Oh, there we go. Uh, you get some eight health back at least. Ooh, and I'm gonna just nine. Nine. and I'll you? I'll uh, I'll head over and give give Hudson a bit of a hug and use my lay on hands to give him an extra ten HP as well. Like, Ooh. I'm glad you're safe, new friend. Thanks, little buddy. Thanks, Doc. Well, we might need it, because if we don't make it across town, we'll get attacked by some more mobsters at 3 a.m. Avoid the alleys, probably. Good idea. <laughs> we'll try to stick to the main roads, maybe. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is when you realize you have to cross the open desert short for a short span of time. Oh, my God. <laughs> But we can go the long way. I mean, you can out go of, the long way. Out of character, guys. They weren't like, actually actively looking for us. They don't know who we are. I know. Yeah, but it's Graham <laughs> in the big bad city. Now. Now. Yeah. Well, now, yeah, now he kind of knows our appearance. He doesn't know our names, but... He's just waiting down an alleyway till you're further away from this and just takes you out one at a time with his pistol. Just... <laughs> he could have taken us out but already. Like he gave us a there. good nod of respect when he left, I believe. He was like, yeah, it was like a, was another, fun. He, yeah, I'm coming for you another time. There were too many guards here. That's not what he implied. Uh, I sort of implied that we had a good tussle. However, he, he he, tussle. however he you liked... implied it, that is entirely He literally true. said, I like you to Buddy Hudson, and he was like, yeah. until we meet again, or whatever the fuck he said in his yeah. little cowboy. Except he wanted to tussle again. Yeah, except yeah. Hudson went, because he goes, oh, the boss has got a, a a spot for you. And I said, what's he replacing you? Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. That yeah. <laughs> ass motherfucker. You're pretty salty, mate. Uh, yeah, so look, I'll sort of um, start heading through town, headed in the direction of the um, Silver Barrel Emporium. Yeah. So you make your way across town. Um, you go the quick way because I'm not, go not going to be that mean. It takes you 6,000 hours and it's dawn by the time you get there. <laughs> uh, no, you make your way there. Um, it is a lovely little woven hut style place, all light coloured wood, reeds and whatnot on the main strip. Um, as you walk in, you see that a lot of the lamps are lowered in light. Um, they have turned down the fires in them um, and sitting on a bunch of cushions, just playing a lute, appears to be the owner as he is um, watching his, uh, one of his bar staff just wandering around, giving people drinks, getting them settled in uh, like as the off at the offshoots of um, the offshoots of the effects of the fire. So making sure that some people so like are... the end of the end of the night shift or something yeah basically so um as you walk in and you see that the barmaid is is busy um a she seems to be a young woman um of elven descent uh mm, the owner she look like she has red hair. She's about 5'11". She's wearing a green dress, which is quite ruffled and floofy. And she has a scarf around her head and neck. Um, she's Pretty, that's all exactly the Kel's type. Is she a baddie? I don't have a picture for her for once. Oh, oh damn. Yep. Since when? Since sometimes Since I don't now. have pictures. Never. You always have pictures. You show me so many pretty pictures. I know. But Ty is not believing it. In. He's like, I need to see her. Is she a baddie? Yeah, I, I don't believe it. Well, Tegan's holding out. Uh, I just look up the girl movie from, movie like, movie. the Hobbit movies. That's the elf, and you're okay. sorted. What is she it's like Fiona from right? Shrek. Yeah, no um, picks. She's a red-headed elf with uh, a yeah. scarf on her head. And a nice green baddie. ruffle dress. Yeah, yeah, all right. Scotty says she's a baddie. I trust Scotty 100%. I mean, Anywhere she's an elf, and she's reasonably pretty, so... Yeah. Well, 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 reasonably pretty by elf standards or reasonably pretty by standards? Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I mean, it depends. Are you saying that humans are less pretty than elves? No, I'm just saying everyone's... I was just curious if it was like an offhanded comment, like you were just like, you were just like backhanding her a little bit. Like, yeah, she's pretty. 
Or if you were like, no, she's genuinely pretty. I mean, yeah, she's genuinely pretty, I guess. You can't... You're not very confident in this answer. It's really thrown. Oh, she's not setting you up for a blind date. Let's move on. <laughs> all right, all right, she's oh, gorgeous. I, just Let's assume, continue. Just assume right. I'm always setting Ty up on a date. Let's be honest. Cause... Could she fit in a robot? Could she fit in a <laughs> robot? A robot or a robot? Robot. You know, from the office? No? <laughs> Can just fit inside Budge. Um, I'm, I'm sure quite a few you. people could fit inside Budge. All right. Um, yeah, like I'll gently tap on the door frame. Oh my God, I can't believe um, you're making me do this. Anyway, what? tap on the door frame. Well, I was saying before I got interrupted. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I'm really, you just really need sorry. to know Kai that you has can needs. sleep with everybody. I get oh. it. I don't want to sleep with them. Girls scare me. I just want to know if they're attractive. <laughs> I just want to stare awkwardly from the corner of the room. Yeah, from a safe the, cor distance. the corner. I'm outside. I'm like on the window. I'm like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> You're that dude outside Erica's gym in like fire red. You know it. Oh, the train is here. It's so You're not looking up a photo, are you, Tegan? I am now yeah, because. Oh my god, you big deal. Don't, no, uh, no, no, it's not a big deal. I was I just any AC brain distracted. <laughs> It, it was the only time she hasn't supplied a picture to me, so my brain was just like, hold on a second. No, you've brain done, the, you've done something now, so... <laughs> done that yourself. It's about to do something, depending God, on the I, picture you provide. God, I hope you just provide a picture of Kevin in a skirt. <laughs> oh, she had, does have that on on reference, for sure. I, I wish I had that on reference. Here I'll, I'll give you one of I'll forward it on. I'll forward it on. Well, it says he has it on reference. I'm waiting for it to come up in general. There you go. <laughs> Magnolia oh, Emma. Oh, she's a baddie, boys! <laughs> Who would have guessed? Imagine if I had to turn around and be like, eh. <laughs> 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 Which would have told you? I said, she, she, yeah, she's okay looking for an elf. Anyway, uh, as she is busy serving other people, you oh, see... Oh, was playing the loot? Sorry? The owner... <laughs> This gentleman, he gets up. He's a he's a fire ganasi. Oh, yes, because I have one of the owner uh, <laughs> that you would have normally uh -huh. talked to. Uh, he is five foot seven. He is a uh, fire ganasi. He has red curly hair. He's wearing a purple bandana. He's got gold facial markings. A little bit of a curled dark mm. beard and wearing voluminous purple pants, um, gold cuffs at his wrists and ankles, and an open harlequin print vest. You can see his chest with his um, dark chest hair and gold tattoos emblazoned across his skin in the shapes of flames. He's, so the a, head on his he's hair a daddy, according to Evil One. <laughs> he his hair's fire, but the head, the hair on his chest isn't. Yep. Well, it causes problematic issues if he has flaming pubic hair, Ty. Yeah. Why is it burning? Don't worry, it always does that. <laughs> anyway, he comes over to you. Welcome to uh, the Silver Barrel. I am Regnit. And Regnit? Uh, I am assuming that you are also refugees <laughs> from the fire at the Charming Barn. Oh. Uh. Well, yes, that's uh, that's correct, actually. Um, we were just wondering if you had any accommodations. Oh, yes, of course, of course. Uh, two rooms, three rooms, are any of you together, not together? How many do you need? Uh, we, yeah, two, the same. Uh, two rooms, I can organize two rooms. Man many beds, one bed each, I, I'm no shame, of course. One each is one bed for each person individual <laughs> yeah that was a very long way to say you wanted the bed each <laughs> that's what i meant <laughs> i didn't know what you meant by one bed because i thought you meant like one bed per person or one bed per room uh yeah i like my Budge doesn't need a bed <laughs> oh yeah oh, oh the uh, you do, uh, do you need um some help i can see if i can get oh, yeah. smith to come and... uh, polish please Budge is hurting. 
Uh, do, no. you, do you need a healer or a priest? I can organize all of that. Anything would help, new friend. All right, all right. I, I will, as soon as I can, I will get a message out and I will get a healer to come and help you. Thank you. you. Are there any pieces that can be taken off and we can go get them buffed and polished? Or you got a few dents, a bit of soot? Cal, say words easier for Budge. Um, look, in all honesty, Budge, do you really, do you, do, is there anything you really want polished up right now? Or are you happy to just sort of, we can, we can bash the dints out in the room and sort of I will of say most of the outside that looks like armour for Budge can be taken off like armour and like... Noted. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't know if there was anything underneath or if I'm straight up yeah, Alphonse. No, you you would have like wires and like essentially yeah, I mean, like, an un, a, a chassis wires. underneath. So. All right, cool, 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 cool. A robusty. Hold on. <laughs> I'll say 200. Go for it. Uh, 2,000, sorry. <laughs> 2,000 points. And. <laughs> <laughs> convince Cow to, to attempt to seduce no, him. I don't, think, I don't think you need to convince. I think it's on board. As soon as the channel points are given, he's like, I will attempt to seduce, and then he will just have to RP seducing someone. Who mm. am I seducing? Uh, an NPC, yes. <laughs> apparently. But if we make it free for Tidrunner to do it, we just put it up there as a channel point that for 2,000 channel points, Cow has to just seduce a random NPC by that's no. voted on. I'd allow him to try and seduce any PC as well. Fuck it. Oh, <laughs> well. Kevin, you're looking so delicious tonight. Oh, God, that's gonna get, this is going to get weird. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> while well, we aside that. Okay, well, uh, it's three silver each for a room. Uh, uh, I've, I've got this one, boys, and I give him four gold. I don't know how the money if works. you if you give him two gold, you'd be giving him five silver extra. Oh no, he can have four gold. I'm not going to burn this. He one said gold. One gold one is gold. more than enough, and he'll give you some back. He'll oh, give... it was... uh, no, That's I'm small. giving him. I'm giving the man four gold. I feel guilty about the place I burnt down. Let me give the man four gold. Pay the guy whose place you burnt down, mate. <laughs> hey, I'm him none. There later. He looks at you and he's like, oh, "Do you want?" Change or is what this we one... want actually is some maybe some breakfast delivered to the room in the morning because uh, a lot of these fellas need some extra sleep. They'll be sleeping in. Oh, of course, of course. Do you want do you want coffee? Do you want some Imperian coffee brought up as well? I'm, I'm sure that covers oh, enough. Of course, of course, I can do that. I can bring you up some watermelon juice, some Imperian coffee. That um, sounds really good. <laughs> um, sounds really good. Are, are any of your are any of your <laughs> gluten intolerant or don't like cheese? This kind of thing. I think Hudson only eats like seeds, right? What the <laughs> hell are you talking about? I don't know. I'm just making a bird joke. It's pretty oh. true. Oh, Budge doesn't eat fish. Yeah, I know where the look over over and is nobody no eats fish food. around no Budge. Seafood. No, no seafood. Food. fish. I mean, it is okay. We don't have to give fish. I don't generally give fish unless you want fish for breakfast. But I do have uh, cheesecake and other things. Otherwise, I can do some pastries, little past potato pastries filled with cheese. We do those or we do pancakes. Yeah, proteins like eggs, sausages. Oh, of uh, course, of course. Oh, so you are the adventure. You are the adventuring uh, types. Okay, I will make sure it is big protein ready for you. Big day of adventuring. Big strong boss, muscly men. Of course, you need to. You need to pack yourself full of energy. The any of us the energy to fight. I look around. <laughs> <laughs> Hudson's I'm like, yeah. Hudson is yoked. Hudson doesn't operate off protein though. Bunch <laughs> Bunch operates anything off in his protein pool. Budge flexes and his shoulder plate falls off. <laughs> <laughs> Does Budge have like um, melded biceps, like out of metal? Yes. Like, yeah. yeah. Does Budge no, have melded biceps. nipples, like the bad yeah. suit? Oh, yeah. we're not putting yeah. we're not putting nipples on budges. Yeah, see, no, oh, budge. Yeah. This is called bad nipples. Okay, the oh, nipples like are the... underneath the chest plate. Yeah, under the chest, under the chest plate. Under the chest plate. Under the chest plate screws on. Rivet <laughs> nips. Ah, <laughs> Rivet nipples. Rivet nips. Rivet nips. Okay. <laughs> this is canon now. 
Anyway. It was a kettle of milk. Anyway, after promising... change the radio channel? Like, after... Uh, yeah. God. After... <laughs> Don't know I, I caught the <laughs> end of that comment. <laughs> after telling, assuring you that you will get breakfast in the morning of a wild variety of, of fats and proteins, uh, he gives you a keys and sends you upstairs to your rooms. Uh, uh, just, just before we go upstairs, I'd like to, like, st- I start to climb the stairs, I stop, I turn back, and I'm like, please don't send anyone up to rob us in the middle of the night. Just let us, just let us sleep through, just, just one fucking night, please. I thought you were about to ask for some alcohol. I mean, I do not generally do that, the, the whole house is We appreciate under... that, well, he, if... he's got, he's just had a bad night, so. Thank well, you. if it assures you, the whole house is under the protection of the Tesaro family. Oh, that—that that is uh, very interesting. Indeed. They are very, very wealthy benefactors. Yeah. 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 Well, that sounds <laughs> wonderful. What? Ooh, oh, what do design. we got, Scotty? What, what do we got? got? Uh, they're peanut butter and chocolate, like. Yum. Which you baked. How do you have your own snack ghost? You, you gotta drop the yeah, recipe, I'll, man. I'll be in. Can we get a can we get a live review? Just yeah, really needs it out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna spit out. <laughs> Cookie ghost. That's like chocolate and peanut butter together. Awesome. At last. Bed time. Actually, can I have a shower before bed? Uh, they they don't have individual showers here. You actually have to go to the bathhouse, which is no, part I'm of the water. Going sample. to bed. No, going to bed. Going to bed. Straight to bed. The water temple is far. Oh, but <laughs> going to but bed. the water bed, temples bed, are bed. atypically run by Selkie clan. So, oh nope. Bed, bed, bed. It's Lapsing not my bed. I don't Doctor care. Doctor like Psycho smoke. ain't a spitter, Tide Runner. What the? F- <sighs> anyway. I'm gonna time out. Mods. <laughs> <laughs> you the mod? Oh no, he, that's the other channel. He is a mod. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a mod on crazy. You are a mod. <laughs> and he is a mod. I couldn't even time him out if I was. Yeah. Believe me, I've tried on Steven's stream to time out the other mods so hard. <laughs> oh, they've changed that thing. Because Dog and remember Dog and Muzz used to time out each other constantly on mine when they were both mods. Right. So you decide to go upstairs, smelling of smoke and charred wood. You find your bedrooms. They are really nicely fitted out rooms. They're, they um, have a white render over every single one of the walls. The, the windows, are even though they're open, they have a very fine mesh over them that would let in light but not bugs. Uh, a lot of the details and ornamentation around the room is a really nice fine light wood. Everything seems to have a gold leaf inlay detail. Um, and over each of the fireplaces because there are fireplaces because it does get cold here at at night um there is a crest um that appears to be a cross with what appears to be a gold leaf embossed wolf over the top of it as soon as we get in there i'm just going to walk in and turn down the fireplace if i can because it's just (laughs) i like it colder Oh, yeah, that's okay. You can kind of, like, move the coals around so that they cool down quicker. That's fine. Hutzer goes straight to the nearest corner, wraps his wings around, and goes to sleep. (laughs) Bunchy's just going to collapse on the floor. (laughs) Face first. Uh, Our room vibrates slightly. (laughs) Yeah, as you all hear the sound of somebody, like, somebody just immediately shucking all their armor at once, just as someone knocked over a, a whole chest full of pots and pans, just clanging. Oh, Budge, we'll get you fixed in the morning, but now let's go the fuck to sleep. Thank you. <laughs> so, you'll head to sleep, get your, fulfill your long rest as you are all woken, roughly around the 7, 8 a.m., um, he did let you sleep a little, uh, Regni did let you sleep a little later on the pure basis that you came in very, very late. So he wanted to make sure that Doc you were getting an adequate earlier. amount of sleep. Doc's wake earlier because he has, he goes into a trance. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Your elven are you guys find him sort of like pacing back and forth, but he's like walking on his toes, pacing back and forth with bare feet. Just pacing. Is, uh, 
as he sleeps or as just as we Awake wake up now. that's what we say okay. are oh, you like he's in a trance i was like it's that is trance he just fucking walks around because i'm gonna need a different room <laughs> is he is he slipping over because he hasn't got his i'm gonna need a different room <laughs> socks he doesn't have his socks sorry like doesn't know what to do he doesn't want to put his flat feet on the ground why does he just wear his combat socks because they're dirty Ah, uh, I see. And okay, so we've had a full, had a full rest, and we've we've aided. Do we wake up to breakfast and eat already? No, you do wake. Uh, you wake up to a full rest. Yo, I need to blow my nose, and I don't have tissue, so toilet paper it is. Give me one moment. It's the same thing. That's good. Kevin, toilet paper is just tissues for you, but Kevin, I need some help. What's what appears to be the problem? I need you to find me some fluffy socks. Can do. Do you want me to like go buy them? Or do you want me to find <laughs> them would here? Be, that would be good. Yeah. Okay. Be, or, right. or buy them off another patron of the establishment. Okay. So, yeah. um, hang um, on. God, I need some fluffy socks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna run right out to the store. I'm gonna go buy the finest pair of fluffy socks I can find. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Uh, because it is, it is early, but, um, there, you know, it is, it, it's just down the road, the Firewell Souk. Um. I love that. God, hold your horses. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Um. <laughs> Shopping episode. You, you run down to the Firewell, Firewell Souk, um, which there is a little chime as you come through the door, you walk through a waft of incense, Kevin. And you are approached by Horlath. Oh, he a baddie. <laughs> it's dangerous. I'm going to give this man so much money. <laughs> <laughs> it's 200 gold enough pair of socks. All right there, mate. Hello, uh, my okay. name is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> what can I get for you? Reds. Uh, do you sell fluffy socks? I got fluffy socks. I got fluffy bathrobes. I got fluffy hats. I got little fluffy mittens if you want them. But they're probably better if you're heading off up into the mountains because between you and me, it's cold as my sister's nips up there. Excellent. All right. Can I grab a pair of fluffy socks and a pair of fluffy mittens? Oh, yeah. No problem. Do you have a, any choice on colour? Because I've got, you know, your usual colours, but every now and then someone wants a combat colour or like a, a chunder green or something like that. Can I... This is out of character. Uh, I'm going to probe my own memory to remember what Scott was wearing. <laughs> Scott, help me out. He's wearing grey socks uh, right now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go for... I don't know how uh, you wouldn't do that in your memory. I'm going to go for grey Okay. Lovely. He, he goes and, and, and can I grab a nice scarf while we're here? Because I'm now thinking about how cold the mountains are going to be, and I'm going to grab. Yeah, yeah, no problems. Yeah. Exactly. Three nice scarves. Three nice. Of scarves? varying color. Sure, sure. We got vibrant colors. If you want, like, or do you want like the mountain? We have colors, cool cause... designed scarves. Oh yeah, yeah. No problem. No problem. Mate. No scarf. I've got some with like gold, gold thread in them, silver thread. You want metallics or you want just like really beautifully dyed. I'll take a reasonably priced beautifully dyed one and then like just a standard grey, like the socks and mittens. All right, then prison grey we'll socks, red. prison grey scarf, and we've got a lovely beautiful turquoise and gold. I think it'll bring it out your eyes, love. Lovely, thank you very much. How much did that run me up? Yeah, no problems for that. Uh, All together, that'll only be like eight silver. All right, I'll give him... So, again, out of character. I thought it was ten silver to a gold. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll give him a gold and I'll let him keep the change. Oh, pleasure doing with, business with you. If you need anything else, let me know and uh, I'll see how I can hook you up. Gives you a wink. Thank you very much, Horlath. Jet. <laughs> with my t little tote bag full of goodies. You have your little woven tote bag of goodies as you <laughs> trot off back up the road. So... <laughs> I hope you know. Oh, yeah, no, I suppose the Fire Mountains here, they'll still be quite cool, so that's fine. I was about to say. <laughs> so you head back. 
<laughs> considering with your run-in with the wonderful hauler who is for anyone who wanted to know he is a drow with waist length dark chocolatey brown hair wearing a little red bolero a little red collar with gold chain detail this very very beautiful piercing gold eyes and like all drow everywhere is australian because they're from down under yep <laughs> when i return i just got slight blush <laughs> <laughs> Kevin races back in. He comes in. You notice a flush on his little selkie cheeks. You notice that his big, luminous pool dark eyes are just slightly dazed looking. I'll, uh, Hudson. Not Hudson. Oh. Doc. I didn't get a of Hudson, actually. So, Doc, here's your scarf. Fuck you, Hudson. In the scarf. Wow. Hudson would like a scarf. You did say oh, three scarves. Hudson already has a scarf, and Budge doesn't need a scarf. Oh, yeah, that's so true. So no, I thought about like, it. Why does, this is why I'm thinking in my head. Hudson would love a scarf, but he's already got one. But no, why. he's got a scarf. He's got, he he's got the cap, the goals, and the, the scarf. Know, yeah. <laughs> me, me creamy scarf. Yeah. That's why I'm like, it's such a... It's <laughs> such a... Um, Hudson thing for a scarf. Thank you. Uh, Doc will pull on his socks straight away and start, like, flexing his toes. Oh... That's so much better. At that, there's a knock on the door as um, as Regni uh, has some trays for you. Um, on them, you find a cloche. There is indeed, uh, for yours, there's three glasses, very tall glasses, with a co creamy coffee liquid in it with a big swirl of whipped cream. Um, you can see it's sprinkled with a little bit of pale green um, and brown powder. It's giving off this lovely aromatic smell to it. Um, as it's got a cinnamon stick tucked in the top, you see a picture of a beautiful pink uh, watermelon juice. And under the cloche, as you lift it, you do find some turkey sausages, a large mound of very buttery scrambled eggs, as well as the aforementioned little potato pillows that have been stuffed with cheese. Ooh. Sounds good. It's savory, it's greasy, it. it's great. <laughs> All right. Uh, fill our stomachs and then we can move out, I suppose. I'm wearing my new nice scarf. <laughs> makes me, it, makes me sad, it makes me sad that uh, Valcor isn't going to get to eat here at, for dinner and have a look at the dessert menu because they've got both cheesecake and tiramisu. Do they have fish? No, they don't have fish. And then um, another thing. cheesecake base, but then tiramisu top. Ooh. I'm just double checking. Oh, yeah, but yeah, no, they don't have any fish on this menu. Yeah. Good. That, that means we can recommend this to a friend, this establishment. Yeah. Five star Google review. <laughs> for, any, for anyone wants, who wants to know, the actual description of Emberian coffee is a pale brown. Uh, uh, coffee with a syrupy texture and served with whipped cream, cardamom, and cinnamon. <laughs> so there you go. Anyone who wanted to know. Evan's the kind of guy to eat the whipped cream all at once. You just and then, <laughs> as you guys are eating, I'll you watch as Kevin like, just goes first oh. whipped cream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Loving it. He's got this cream mustache that kind of looks like the mustache that uh, Doc has. Just big cream handlebar. Is it a good look, Doc? Should I grow it out? Well, it's all stuck to your like whiskers because you've actually got quite long whiskers yourself, Kevin. Ah, you you are a selkie. You're a like part seal. <laughs> so you've got these. You've just got these couple of really long whiskers. But it is up to you. You can either have them under your nose like a moustache, or you can have them on the eyebrows. Ooh, because it's the inner, I, it is the inner eyebrow though. It's not the outer. It's the inner eyebrow. Like seriously, oh, it's not like a flick. No, it's yeah. like from here. How long are we? Uh, you're doing this a lot, and I'm like, how long are they? Easily that long. Oh, okay, okay. They're, they're manageable. I, I That's thought they huge. Were well, they can be no, up to you if you good. want. If you want like gargantuan, like all might style. Okay, you're just being silly. The first, the first size was ginormous as it yeah. was. It was just. Just yeah. ridiculously large. Hey, he could be very proud of his eye eyebrow yeah, loopings. Proud of my eye, 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 eye. I, I, I like to think oh. I go around whipping people with them. 
just smacking him upside the head with my little. It's Kevin's way of figuring whether he'll, whether, so he doesn't get stuck. If, he is, if his whiskers can't get, it's through. how close I am. Yeah, yeah, it's like you're a cat. If you can't, if your cat can't get through, nah, no game. <laughs> so you eat your cream. You've got your handlebar moustache. You look great. <laughs> Next door, you hear a knock on the door. As... All over himself. <laughs> Hudson's got breakfast all over him. Oh, <laughs> full sausage up the side of the head. <laughs> He's got a sausage stuck in his feathers. <laughs> God, what is this? If we point it out, I bet he's like, I'm seven for litter. <laughs> you hear a knock from next door as Cal and Budge. Um, Budge, there is indeed. There is a smaller plate of food for you because it is known obviously that Warforged in my world at least do need to have some organic matter but there is also a jug of what appears to be a deeply rich black liquid Budge is going to eat the food as well as the plate yeah fine <laughs> <laughs> this whole plate so does Budge eat through his mouth or does no, he he's he has got, got, got a, like a little compartment yeah. you to know no, he's got this, like. This is, oh, there you go. God, I'll have you, oh, have you know that question. privileged information. He opens, he opens up, question. he opens up a butt flap, yet. puts everything and closes it up. <laughs> does Budge get like self-conscious when he's eating, or what does he just eat in front of others? Uh, Budge is self-conscious a lot of the time, but he doesn't exactly like talking about it. How about your yeah, layoff, mean, Is he trying to hide <laughs> his eating, or is he? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's trying to hide his eating. <laughs> Um, well, it's only us in the room. Place. I've seen you eat a yeah. million times. <laughs> Not as far as Budge is aware. <laughs> I just like the fact that Budge just turns towards a wall and is just doing whatever he needs to do to eat. And Cal's like, what the... Like it disappears and he turns back around. <laughs> you just see this little head appear over one shoulder, goes back down, goes back over the other shoulder. However, yes, oh. Cal, Budge... Budge, you actually, upon waking, you do... While you do still have your dent and whatnot in your armor, you do feel better as all of your little synapses have reset after your tinkering session. Budge is in less significant pain now. Budge, I don't think you're in any pain anymore. You just dented the fuck up. Well, it hurts Budge's pride. Well, do you want me to get some of them dents out? I'll just punch the. I'll take it off. I'll punch the shit out of it back the other way and we'll chuck it back on no budge thirsty all right budge drink up puts out a butterfly like proboscis and starts drinking up the foil <laughs> it's just a tongue little, little... no nah, i don't know how you drink it's up to you <laughs> a straw just extends from his mouth <laughs> i kind of just like pour it on my face where my mouth would be and just absorb it yeah, that's fine. Like photosynthesis. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. That's never gonna not be unsettling to watch. <laughs> it just means that you have like this open catch-all that has a tube that runs down your throat like a yeah. mouth. Yeah. So it's not like you're pouring liquid into a skull and it's just dripping down your body and onto the floor. <laughs> that's up to him to decide, thank you. <laughs> I mean, you're the one that gets to clean that up, so... He's got a million little straws in his feet. Uh, are we talking straight tube straw or a sh starship trooper bug brain straw? Oh, no, I haven't seen starship troopers. There we go. So, anyway, so you finish up your breakfast and you prepare for your day. You know that you're supposed to be meeting a, a gentleman here later today. Um, you were never told when he was going to arrive, but you got the impression that he would be there all day judging the fact that you could turn up whenever um, to take your to take your um, to take your services, business, whatnot. So yes. Because we were thinking we were planning on escorting the caravans, weren't we? Yes you were. Yeah. Yes sir. Um I need to get another backpack. Oh, did you uh, leave your backpack? <clears throat> it was in the fire. Budge can carry things for you. Well, I don't have anything to carry at the moment. That's the problem. You need some supplies. Yup. 
All right, make a list. Make it twice. <laughs> That's a good idea, Budge, just in case you leave anything off it. Q. One, um, back, back. Shall some of us go shopping and some of us stay here? One backpack. <laughs> One. Nothing else. Stuff. That's everything on your list, Hudson. You don't want any, like, bedroll or ropes or anything like Surely that. Surely he'll start there and then go forward. I've only got 25 gold on me. I'll cover your cost, it's fine. I mean... Take some of budget. Yeah, I mean, I kind of feel a little bit responsible for... Why, why is that? Well, I'm, I'm going to get... Why is, is that? You're responsible. Well, I, I mean... Yeah. You said Roscoe yeah, started the fire. You were saying that it was... Is it because you fire. marked the door again when we told you not to? Yeah, that's exactly that. Yeah, yeah. I don't... Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> So you marked the door, so it was your fault that we got attacked, is what you said. No, saying. we did, out of character, we did see him do that. I know. <coughs> yeah, I wanted him to. You guys all yeah. voted to freaking fight. No, we didn't. Okay, well, we didn't get... mainly Hudson and Cal did, but, you know. Like, yes, I, feel... <laughs> I, feel, I feel a little bit bad about it. I probably should, I, I jumped the gun just a little bit, in hindsight. Maybe we could have dealt with it better. Um... How much gold do you need for your backpack? I don't know. I haven't bought it yet. You'll probably need like at least like five gold. Well then, how about we see a man about a convoy on the way out? We see, we we check in, see if he's here, see if we can deal with that. Then we go shopping, or we just, as you said, Doc, we someone waits here for convoy man to show up. I can well, wait I'll, here because I'm already. Yeah, we three will wait, you two go shopping. How about that? Okay. It'll give you a chance to get to know each other. And I'll get to know Budge, and me and Kevin will get to know Budge, actually. But it seems like Kevin and Budge have already sort of... You seem in met. a better place, I'll say. We've met. Yeah, I mean, Budge isn't actively death-staring you all day. It's getting there. That's it's called growth. It's With a hard a... F. Honestly, you've grown quite a lot recently, Budge. Yeah, now I'm at least 6'8". You were only 6'7.9 before. I like to think there was a patch to his software now he just stands up slightly straighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in Budge's mind, he fully thinks he's grown. <laughs> he's got better posture. <laughs> Alright, we'll sort of um, make ourselves comfortable in the main area. The common area. Um, I'll order one of those coffees again while we're waiting. Yep. You can do so. You take a seat at one of the tables there. Some low bench seats, they've got cushions around them, so you can kind of just sit where you want to sit. And, you know, you can see that uh, groups of older men and women have come in. Some of them are doing business. You see a group of ladies come in with carpet bags, pull out their balls of wool, order some drinks and st sit there and start to knit while they talk to each other. Oh, uh, just uh, just retroactively, team. Um, Cal's looking a lot healthier today. His skin is uh, a lot more tan than it was yesterday, and his hair is even looking a little bit darker. Just, oh, just, what? just retroactively. Did you get cool? Finally, got summer, Cal. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did the fire cook you? you something, something, something like that. Okay, so who's going to the shop? Hudson! Hudson? Hudson? And Cal! Okay, Hudson and Cal. Just making sure that I've got... Uh, okay. okay, so you will... Are you guys head on down to the fire world, Sook? Again, there is a waft of a musk incense that brushes into your face as you hear the chime of silvery bells. Um, as you see a shop that has 
shelves all about the place. You do see that there are barrels of rope that are coiled up. You see that there are bags and baskets and chests of all kinds. You see that there are various kits that are kind of put together that seem to be displayed as set kits and things like that. And as you're looking, uh, the owner does approach you with his hands in his pockets. He saunters over. All right, lads. Daddy. Can I help you with anything? Hi. Or... I need a replacement backpack. Just Do you back... have something like pre-made up or something for an adventurous style setup? Yeah, I do adventurous kits. I do all sorts of kits. Well, looks like we've come to the right place then. You want an adventuring kit? You want a dungeoneering kit? Because I got them all kind of few things. I got to just put a few pink bits and pieces in because I don't like keeping the rations with it, but I can shove them all together for you. I'll, uh, uh adventurer's backpack? Yeah, how uh, Hudson. What? Why don't we see what other sorts of packs they've got? Maybe we can get something a little bit cooler for you. N I just need that. All right. All right, if you're sure, because I can do whatever you need, man. No, that's fine. That's I just need the basic. Oh, and a leather working kit and a weaving tool kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. So, uh, the leather working kit. Yeah, you're looking about five gold for that. Uh, weaving kit, you said. Yeah. Yeah, about five gold for that one too. And uh, for the adventurer's kit. Yeah, yeah, looking, uh, looking about, oh, give me a second so I look it up, about two gold for a full adventurer's kit, to be honest. Uh, 12? 12 in total, my good dude. Do you have any shields? Ah, nah, mate, you'd have to check down at, uh have to go check it the smithy uh you're probably looking that's on the way back the glowing salamander all right but that sounds pretty that sounds good doesn't it cal yeah, that that sounds like a good deal but honestly yep i'll have that thanks hold, 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 hold. My, hold, my man my man how, how about what? we if my if my uh, bird brain my feathered friend here can beat you in an in an arm wrestle in a game of your choice, we'll say ten gold. All if right. he loses, fifteen. What? What are you doing? This, I'm feeling adventurous. I want to gamble. <laughs> and honestly, I think you can beat this guy in some sort of athletics competition. You took I'm on Budge good. and you won. What if he doesn't take uh, athletics into it and does something else? I, look, between the two of us, I think we've got the skills to beat this guy. And honestly, it's two gold, and I'll pay it. I don't really care. Okay. I'm just looking for a bit of fun. After the night we had last night, we really need just something to get, just take the edge off. All right. That sounds fair. So, what are we doing? I mean, Is he going to play us for it? First of all, roll me a persuasion to convince him that he should. Ooh, not great. He's not very convinced. <laughs> oh, get the dice out. I mean, I charge the same for everybody, mate. I just... Trying to have a little bit of fun, but... I mean, if you really want to do gambling and stuff, you can head up to the Fire Temple. They're all for that kind of passionate stuff. No, we've got a job to do. We better do or, that first. Mate, if, if you... Look, playing hand games and all that kind of stuff, but if you really want to test yourself in a uh, battle of strength, might I suggest... The uh, Golden Pride. It's a gladiatorial arena on the other side of town. Oh. Can we? 
Yeah, you can put you can put your names on the books, and the bookies will take your uh, bookies will take your name. People can bet on you, and you can make some decent money. You don't have any problems fighting girls, though, right? Because I tell you what, some of the uh, gladiatrix up there, they are mean. I'll, I'll fight anyone. My man, he does like to fight. Alrighty. Well, yeah, head on over. Put your names on the books. They're willing to take anybody as a uh, as a combatant. Oh, Hudson, it's a good day to be us. I need a. I need a win. I need I, a win. I just had a look at uh, the the four, the four gladiators I had up there. Um, I, 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 uh, I, I slam, I slam 13. No, 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 Hudson. I'll pay. No, we can, we can. Buddy, friend, pal. It's the least I could do. I don't like owing people. You don't owe me. I put the mark on the thing. I, I feel responsible. I feel like I owe you. Let me pay this man. And then we can go up there. Do you want to buy a shield before? Oh, can he use a shield in the gladiators arena? Yeah, there are gladiators that fight with only shields. There are gladiators that fight with nets, whips, all sorts. Do they supply them themselves, or does no, the arena? Bring, no, mate, you got to bring your own weapons in. I can't, I'm just, just the making only sure. the only rule is they have no magic because it's not fair. You see? What do you mean it's not fair? Well, it's a, dis- it's a disadvantage for people who don't have innate magic or, you know, can do spells and stuff. So they have anti-magic shields on the whole arena, so no one can give outside help, too. I lean over to Hudson. Hey, buddy, you don't, you don't have any magic, do you? No. Okay. Not at all. Okay. All right, just, just checking, just making sure. All right, I, I slam the. I give him thirteen gold. I say, keep the change for the the hot tip that you've given us. No problems, mate. You party haters. On we go, I guess. Is there anywhere? Oh, we got. We better get a shield before we go too far. Yeah, I'd need one of them. Okay, so you stop in at the glowing salamander smith on the way. On the way back? Yep. Okay. So, you make your way into the smith. As you walk through the open door, because it, it, it does seem to be that it is just a metal door that comes down and it's open like an open shed kind of thing, um, you feel, as soon as you cross that threshold, the oppressive heat wash over you from the blazing forge behind. As you're walking around and you can see a number of shields and armour on the walls, um, all different styles. Um, as you're moving around, having a look, you can see gleaming weapons in the firelight. You, Hudson, notice next to you that a small green individual with a pair of goggles is next to you with a Tape measure. Measuring your wings. Whoa! Where'd you come from, little fella? Oh, you have an impressive wingspan, sir. Thank you. Yes, yes. What? What, what is it? Like 12 feet across? Uh, I'm after a shield? Oh, I can do a shield. Zack can do a shield. I mean, we have lots of things. We do, can do shields. We can do weapons. We can do... We can do... Ball bearings. I have a ba- I have a barrel of ball bearings. Do you want to see the barrel I, of ball bearings? Uh, uh, no. Um, I just want a shield, please. Oh. oh. He trudges over, gets a circular shield off of the wall. Uh, shield be ten gold. You mind if I try it first? You go to run. Zerk will shoot you. I won't run. I'm just want to feel the weight. He hands it over. Zerk, is it? Are you aware of just how big he is compared to you? 
There are kobolds everywhere, sir, in the Fire Realm. I, I, I'm i not... I, I, I'm I just sorry, that came off the, like I was implying that I we were stealing. That was the not the case. war cry, and we come from everywhere. Out, out of curiosity, what's that kobold war cry sound like? If I tell you, then that will mean kobolds descend upon you and we will eat your flesh and give you what? to the fire serpent of the mountains. What, what if I was the one to give the cobalt war cry? Do you have draconic vocal cord, sir? Well, no, but I, I'm, sh- I'm a quick learner. I was just curious what it sounded like. like Roll me a persuasion if... to convince him to tell you. And meanwhile, Hudson's just sitting there just banging his shield. <laughs> Where did my dice go? I lost my dice. That was a big one, too. Well, how do I lose a big dot? Oh, there it is. Oh. He looks at you. Be aware, sir, that if you do not have the, the correct vocal cords, you won't get the intonation and volume right. But he leans forward closer to you because he doesn't want to alert all the kobolds in the area. And he gives... The calling noise, like the velociraptors from Jurassic Park. Ah, ah. That one, yeah. So glad. <laughs> uh, that is that is quite a beautiful call on it. Very passionate. Very, just an absolutely beautiful call. But what would what would happen if I was to make such a call? Would, would I be eaten or would my enemies be eaten? Sir. Do you know what it feels like to betray the weight of at least 30 souls? 30. For argument's sake, let's say I do. You would be impaled by 30 small flaming crossbow bolts. Oh, so they, they would attack me. Even if I called them, they'd attack me. Okay. Well, okay. sir, you are not a kobold. It is very obvious you are not a kobold. You don't even have scales. You're just a meat bag. Let me tell you something, little man that just told me I'm a meat bag. I don't I'll appreciate it. This. I'll take this. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. The price of that shield has gone up to 20 gold. Hold on a second. You called me a meat bag. That is a benefit. This what? is Zerk's shop. You insult Zerk. Zerk takes it personally. I am a dragon, sir. I understand that you're a dragon, sir, and honestly, quite a, quite a. Here's your, here's your twenty gold. <laughs> well, there's your twenty gold, but I, I do say while we're here, I do love your scales. They are quite intimidating. You give off a very intimidating aura, if I'm honest. Roll me per per fucking performance. To... <laughs> Do what? Convince him that you're not. You like kiss up to him, basically. He looks at you. He kind of squints. <laughs> what an absolute shock! Ty insulting someone. <laughs> I not even said anything. Mate, if he calls you a meatbag, you say thank you and move on. <laughs> said listen here guy who just called me a meat bag and he's just like instantly taking offense as if it wasn't what he just said <laughs> I'm not reading that Kev you just want me to make him angry <laughs> <laughs> he literally just said to me I'll have, he's like oh I'll have a Big Mac meal I was like oh you want a Big Mac meal and he's like listen here you fucking piece of shit did I stutter <laughs> did he did he stutter So go on, T. How much does he hate me? How, no. How much have I upset just, the cobalt con? He just kind of like squints his eyes at you. Please visit the Zerks if you need more weapons, armor, or metal pieces. Zerk will do you a good deal. You are a fine specimen fighter, sir. He looks at Hudson and gives you a little bow. I'll give a bow back. Just out of just out out of curiosity. Obviously, a cobalt shield would be a lot smaller than a shield for Hudson, right? 
A shield is a shield, sir. I, I understand. That. But y- you wouldn't expect a pixie to carry around a eight foot shield, whereas of Hudson could not. quite Pixies easily. have minimization magic, sir. You can give them whatever shield they need and they make it their size. I'm sorry, my hu- my tiny little meatbag brain just isn't comprehending. Um, my question was, would, would you have smaller shields for a smaller species that I could... I, could I use a shield for a smaller species? I understand it would not cover as much area, but... Well, of course, yes, I could tell you, I suppose, an arm brace shield. It would not protect you as much. Uh, out of character, what sort of disadvantages am I going to be looking at for using, like, a small wrist shield? Something, like, I'm imagining just a, a small rectangular... It does half the amount of protection, so it would only increase your AC by one. Okay, because that was my... I don't understand what a shield does. <laughs> yeah, a, a shield gives you a plus two to your AC. Okay. However, the bigger the shield, so you can start to get up to tower shields and stuff like that, and then they yeah. give you cover, which means that your attacks on you have disadvantage. But a, a tower shield is like six feet tall, and you 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 have to move slower. You get half movement with it as well when you've. Got so it. if I was to have just a simple, not a, like just a simple rectangle shield, double strapped to my arm. I'm not looking at. I'm looking at a slight advantage with the fact of I would have better AC, but I'm not looking at any real disadvantages. No, not really. It's strapped to your arm. I mean, what are the disadvantages of like a regular shield? There aren't any yeah, disadvantages but... apart from you can't use a two-handed weapon if you have two-handed weapon uh, wielding. So for example, like so for example, oh, because you've got a shield, even a small wrist shield, you still have a strap on your hand to hold it. He wouldn't be able to do offhand um, dagger attacks, for example. So yeah, my question was like, what I was looking for realistically, without trying to insult him in any way, shape, or form. I was trying to look for something around the size of like a cobalt arm shield, like a small cobalt shield that I could strap wrist, wrist. Still have that. I understand because I don't use double-handed weapons. That doesn't. But I would still yeah. have that wrist movement because it's strapping yeah, to my so forearm what you're actually only. Looking, what you're looking for is actually a bracer, which is already considered as part of the armor you wear. You can upgrade okay. the armor you are wearing as long as you have proficiency. Even if you don't have proficiency, but you ideally have to have proficiency to use it. But the problem with the rogues that you have is. The higher grade of weapon, you, uh, higher grade of armor you go, you're going more metallic, which means you start getting stealth disadvantages. Okay, because yeah, that was my, my basically I was seeing if I could use, have a shield on one arm to sort of block a little bit of incoming damage if I had to, but yeah. it wasn't going to hinder which, me too much. Which you can, if you do want just like a small arm shield, you're still going to have to hold it, so you would lose one of your attacks. Like so. Rogues do have a secondary attack that they can do with a dagger as a bonus action instead if they would like to. But the problem with this is if you've got a shield, you can't also hold a dagger. Can you just punch with the shield? I mean, you can shield bash, yes. Okay. I... Zerk, my good man, can I grab a... Out of character, is he going to... Is it offensive to call it a cobalt shield? You just want a small shield, like a small, yeah. a small category a buckler. shield. Yeah, you want a buckler. Yeah. Yeah, he'll Can sell I grab you a... Yes, I will sell you a buckler. That will be 20 gold. Have I mentioned how beautiful your scales are today? <laughs> how intimidating your aura is. persuasion, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to quit while you're ahead. <laughs> Never mind. He's good. It's, yeah, no. As you're saying this, he he's looking at you, but as you start complimenting him and the glisten to his green scales, you actually um, play into his slightly draconic greed and flattery, and he's like, oh, thank you. I do polish. My scales. Oh, you can tell. you honestly gleaming in this light. Yes, I have very, very good scale polish. It brings up the nice emerald shifting hues. 
All right, all right. You can have it for ten gold. I, I give him eleven, and I leave. He takes your money, and he starts counting it, doing a little bite as you leave with uh, with Hudson. So, well, Hudson's just waving the shield around as he walks I, out. I give Hudson a little shield bash. Ding, ding. <laughs> shield uh-huh. brothers. Okay. Yes. So you do have a plus one to your AC, by the way, Cal. But Sheesh. just remember, for future reference, you don't have your offhanded um, dagger attack. I don't think I've even unlocked that, if I'm honest with you. You do. As a rogue, you do. <laughs> You can do it automatically as part of your skills. It just means oh, okay. if you use your offhanded dagger attack, I don't think you add your proficiency to it, but no. because you're using it as your bonus, you then can't step away. Yeah, okay. So so I can still use a shield bash as a bonus. Yeah, but you can't then disengage. Yeah, okay. Sweet, so, sweet, sweet. So it I'm means fine. that you're still within smacking range. Yeah, but shield bash. ba ba you're still you're still in uh, Cobaldoline because your scales are worth it. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> You'd actually do more damage with a dagger. You would do as a rogue, yeah. You would do more damage with a dagger, but it does mean you're a little bit harder to hit. So, but well, that that's being... I can just un I can unequip. Sure, it's not bolted to my arm. I can unequip no. it and equip it. Like I, if, I will if... say to unequip it, shields and things like this, it is considered an action to take off yeah. Don and Doff armor. So, but but what I mean is I can. I can just put this in my back, like on my back, like. Yeah. I don't, I don't have to wear it at all. I'm not walking around with the shield on my arm right now, am I? I can just like strengthen yeah. it essentially. Yeah, you can. Like whoop whoop, whoop backpack it. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. That's okay. Meanwhile, while you and Hudson are walking back, uh, Kevin, Doc, Budge, you are waiting in the tavern drinking. Kevin is <laughs> snout deep in his third coffee with a deep handlebar cream moustache. Doc sitting there looking cozy with his bed socks on. <laughs> they're not toe socks. They're not they're toe not socks. Right. Budge looks like he's been rolled down a hill that had far too many rocks on it. <laughs> okay, rude. <laughs> First of all, rude. Second of all, rude. Um, as you are sitting there, you watch two gentlemen enter. One, um, they both appear at first glance to be human. Uh, the only thing that kind of gives the darker skinned gentleman away as not human is the fact that he is close to eight feet tall. Uh, he has quite dark skin. Um, he has very short cropped, uh, tightly curled, um, very dark brown hair. You notice that he has gold ornamental jewellery. Um, his white um, kaftan that he's wearing over the top has very delicately embroidered gold embroidery all the way down you see this motive that was in your rooms as well you do see like the wolf motive um come around the sleeves down the front the short slightly shorter gentleman that's with him who is in kind of like an olive green shirt he is um of a light tan color he has very curly auburn hair um he's kind of got this worried look upon his face like uh he he doesn't enjoy doing this and he's constantly looking around. But the very tall, dark skinned gentleman is. Uh, the very tall, dark skinned gentleman, he's very jovial. He's joking around uh, when he sees. Uh, when he sees um, Regnate, he's like, hey, Regnate, how are you doing? It's great. It's, you can tell that this is a very easy banter um, as he sits down what, at what appears to be his regular table um, and Regnate brings them over some drinks and whatnot and they just sit there to wait. The other, uh, the shorter gentleman does indeed get out what appears to be a log book of some description with a um, ink and quill as he's starting to do some notes. Um, anyone who would like to do me a perception can. Sure. Why not? I haven't rolled yet. Go Budge. Go Budge, that's a good perception. Budge is hard. Oh, it's not better than mine, though. <laughs> you, you are too. I'm just, 
Double fist Kevin's not even in the bar anymore. <laughs> the, the best part is... Kevin's got this kind of vibrator of like, you yeah, can I was see gonna his, say, I'm if, if all you, coffees if, in on. If his eyes didn't already look like it's all pupil, like it would be twice the size of his face. So just like, then all the time. I'm, I'm this far away from being fry at a hundred cups of coffee. Like, I'm so <laughs> close to being in the oh, matrix. We're... You know what, roll me, You're a genius. Roll, roll me a con save because this is if this is going to be Zunus 2.0, I need this yeah. in my life. Kev looks up, he's like sitting on the edge of the volcano. He's like, huh, how do I get here? <laughs> nah, you're Again. good. You I'm you good. don't you don't succumb to caffeine overload. <laughs> Which is great because the whole world slows down to you at least. It's the squirrel from over the head. Uh, is it over the hedge? Hemi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's Pino is the name of it. He identifies with that squirrel on like a solistic <laughs> level. Yeah. <laughs> so he's the only character from that movie I actually remember. Budge as I remember you, Budge as you. What was the o- turtle's name? Turtle. <laughs> Budge, as you look over at them, you did. Oh, wait, no, you noticed Budge actually. Not that you could read the letters on the book, but you did notice that they seem to have uh, a black fern on the binding of the book. Have I seen Budge read fern before? It's the Can old I read? boy. Can Budge I can read? read. The second part of his question. Budge can was, read. Can I thought I we. Read? I thought we'd established Budge can't read. <laughs> Budge can I, I read. Can't remember. I, I feel like Budge. Can't Budge can. Read. Budge, no, has Budge, the, Budge, Budge has the intelligence to read. I do. Yeah. All right, cool. Just making sure. Well, if you've got I was going to say, I thought as he as orders on any, the menu. Yeah, as long as you've got anything over a six, you can read, my dude. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, but right. yeah, you can see that it's like the all black shipping company on the side. Okay. Hey, new friends, those guys might be the people with the caravan that we want to help. These two. Uh, point over to the, to the fellas who've walked in. Just make sure you're um, showing everybody who needs to see. Uh, da, 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 a bunch. Doc lifts up his hat. You can also scroll down on this picture. There's actually two images. Good eye, Budge. Oh, kind of baddies. Pop that shirt off and we'll find Relatively out. Relatively baddies. Yeah. We'll say. Why is Gerald in quotes? Is that not his real name? <laughs> Would you like to know, weather boy? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah so that's interesting, right? Gerald and Gabriel. Yes. Alright. They're both um, Gabriel. I'm calling it now. Sorry. I'm assuming the quotation marks are on his birth certificate. Yeah. <laughs> Gerald is the one on the on stage, right? Yes, he's the eight foot tall, yeah. uh, dark skinned man. Yeah, sorry, okay. Gerald. Yes. Oh. All right, so I, I, I'd say I'm going to go approach him. I'm, I'm caffeine high. I'm, but as as Budge is pointing, I'm already over there. I'm... <laughs> Somehow you're the, already sitting next to them. Yeah, I do like the fact that you touched the floor once, and it was like you got up, went boing like a bouncy ball, and landed in the seat next to them. <laughs> it felt like he was floating. <laughs> What are they drinking? Quickly. Uh... <laughs> More coffee. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't have a coffee, I'm going to buy him a coffee. Okay. For that one perception, I imagine they sat down next to Kevin and he still didn't notice. <laughs> um, you do notice that the tall, dark gentleman has a very tall, cylindrical glass that seems to have kind of a layered effect to it. it Overall, it looks clear. At the bottom seems to be like a pinkish hued brown syrup and it's got like mint leaves and stuff and ice in it. Um, The other gentleman, he just seems to be drinking water. Water. What are those? Wait, let me just psych myself up for this encounter. (laughs) I hardly know. As you sit down, the tan gentleman kind of jumps. He's he's a little bit jumpy. He's like... (gasps) And but the tall dark gentleman is like, "Hello, friend." Hey, gentlemen, how can I help you? <laughs> I should be asking you that I question, so. as you clearly came to talk to us for our services. Let me ask you this: How can the All Black Shipping Services help you today? We're looking to. Travel with a caravan into the Basalt Himalayas. We're wondering, uh, there's five of us. We're all adventurers. The strong, burly type. Uh, We're hoping we can offer you a bit of protection while you go up in exchange for a 
your companionship and assistance through the mountains. Well, we do have a shipment of silks going up that way to Oasis Lagoon and things like this. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, you're welcome to join us. I mean, uh, we don't really need your services, but after all, my cousin's money does buy the best that best protection that we can afford, but I mean, if you want who, to come with us... Who can say no to extra muscle? Well, exactly. I'm not going to say no. And to be honest, Gabriel will probably ha- be happy that, obviously, he's got this opinion that somebody out there is willing to kill or abduct me because of, well, who I am. Excellent. No one's joining me. I expected at this point to be interrupted. <laughs> you hear swearing from outside as a little gold rat sneaks into Cow's pocket and runs off with ten gold. What the fuck? I guarantee that was Craig too. I don't even have to look at the stream. You can personally thank Tide Runner Gaming for that one. What the <laughs> fuck? Oh. <laughs> Honestly, James, I've never felt so fucking betrayed in my life. <laughs> so what yeah, the I'd, I'd, assume the, uh... I'd assume the two of us have wandered over to you by now. What yeah, are the details of the caravan? Know. Like, when when are you guys leaving? When will you need our, need us to be there? And uh, where? We're going to be leaving this afternoon around 4.30 in the afternoon. Always 4.30. Oh, you, you travel at night, do you? Uh, says Doc as he's walked up behind Kevin. Oh, of course. Hello. We start to travel in the early evening as it's a bit cooler. I mean, who wants to travel in the middle of the day? It's blazingly hot out there. Oh, so. I respect that. And as much um, as I love to glisten in the sunlight, I like it to be with gold, not perspiration. But I'd bet you'd look mighty fine, covered in perspiration. Well, I mean, I have been known to woo a lady or two. I mean, most of the time they do think I'm my cousin, but I'm not going to say no. Which cousin was that? No one that anyone really cares about, let's be honest. Except for ladies. Oh. Um, I mean, he's... I guess you could say he's slightly famous, but, I mean, it's just for a church thing. Apparently he's special or something. I Look, I grew up with him. I would say there's nothing special about him. Hmm. Commonly said by those who secretly envy others. I mean, I've always lived in his shadow, and most people think that I am him, so I reap the benefits. Although every time he does something dumb, well. So do you, being mistaken as him, make a good name for him? I like getting him in trouble, let's be honest, because it gets back to my aunt, and then, well, actually, no, he doesn't get in trouble because he's the golden child, but his sister gets in trouble for him, for not keeping him out of trouble. Well, that's a bit unfair. Well, that's what I think too, but that's the way I the cookie think, crumbles. You know, what I, you know what I think? I think that you should forge your own identity because you seem to be able to stand on your own two feet. Well, I mean, working for him lets me travel around. It means I'm not trapped in the family estate and I actually get to, you know, use my services. When we do decide to go out to the ocean, we do actually use a ship every now and then. I, I have good friends on the Pirate Council, for example. Not many oh. people can say that they can personally deal with the demon of the seas, after all. Not too useful in the desert, though. But... I mean, it helps us deal with land sharks, I suppose, but... The pirates deal with there land sharks. There are sharks on land? Yes, there are sharks on land. Bullets, bunny sharks... I've seen, been known to see the odd land octopus or two. Bunny sharks sound kind of cute. I want a I bunny shark. Oh, don't, probably quite harmless. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure you'll see them at some point. Yay. I hope so. All right. So 4.30 <laughs> is Yes. 4.30 this afternoon. If you come and meet right. us at the uh, caravan to I we'll be ready to go. Do we, uh, we need to know? Or? Yeah, have any, what kind of supplies do we need to bring? Just standard adventuring supplies. Uh, 
how far are you planning on ha- heading? How far are you planning to stay with us? We're going all the way up to Oasis Lagoon, Lagoon. But if you're going to stay that far, you'd probably need food and supplies for a several days journey, maybe about a week. Otherwise, if you're just traveling into the mountains, however, you'll need to stay in the mountains. Yeah, we generally travel with enough rations, so that should be okay. Hmm. All right, uh, what exactly are we protecting? Did I miss that, Kevin? Uh, we're carrying silks and liquor. Silks and liquor. Hardly no one. All right, so would you like to consider it travel with us or you're just offering your services for free? We just want to be friends. I like that. We're on the business like you. at the moment and we can offer our protection, so. What's your going rate? Per About day? Three fitty. Per person. There About are three fifty. Three fifty. <laughs> Yes, what's your going rate and what is your number? Well, there are five of us. Oh, what right. can you usually afford to pay? Well, what do you usually charge? Our rate is usually quite high. Uh, I would at least charge three gold per person per day, but uh, that depends if you can afford that. Oh, we can more than afford it. We're happy to do three oh, gold I'm per at, person uh, per day. 30, 30, three five gold. it is. Five it is. Is it 30 or 3? I didn't carry the decimal point, so it's 30. Are you alright, sir? You look very pale. Budge, you're my calculator. Look, I'm... Judge just, I'm, I'm Budge just gets up this interface and just comes up with zeros and out comes a little touchpad. Processing. Processing. <laughs> That's probably an assumption, but is Budge actually good at maths? Because <laughs> I don't want to just assume. Maths. We're about to find out, aren't we? <laughs> hey, math time. Can we, can we get a roll for maths, please? Oh, God. Get us with some quick math. Sure it's, an, it's a straight intelligence roll for math, okay? Fine. Straight intelligence. I don't think my intelligence is the best. But I Not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. That'll be 24 per person per day. All right, oh, I'm nice. happy to do that. 24 per that's person per day. Budge, you can repeat things, can't you? Budge is bartering. <laughs> the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> and what should we say the name for our books, obviously, because my brother is fastidious at bookkeeping. Uh, what name should we say as the of the adventuring group? It's our Kevin and the Kevins. Kevin and the Kevins. I thought we were... Dog and the dogs. I think we should go Kevin, Dog, Budge, and Co. Do I need to give you a minute to... All right, we've had a terrible, terrible Ooh, evening. Five seconds. We're involved in the uh, calming bomb and outpost fire. We had got relocated in the middle oh, of the night. No worries, Steve. I got that one. Ha- you have my condolences. Could I per- per- potentially, perhaps... Well, depending on what kind of adventurers you are, if you're good adventurers, perhaps we could talk about a lucrative deal. We can talk deal. about it. I, I can't guarantee we will accept it. But are we the are Tassaro, open to the, t- the t- Tassaro Limited sponsor your outfitting as long as you only wear our goods. And... You have our logo on your presence. So when people see you fighting and see you walking through the streets. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. The C- if, the CEO, out of character. The CEO. I'm trying to remember if Tassara was the name of that other gang that's protecting this bar we're in. The t- or if they that are. was something else. They are. Yeah, they uh, are. Okay, Tassar- so the Tassar- the, the Tassaro CEO is in the chat telling me they most certainly do not. <laughs> <laughs> Budge doesn't wear clothes. Oh, don't worry. We can organise uh, augmentations if you need them and things like that. But like I said, you would have to... Ha- well, being the large gentleman that you are, we would be able to fit many lo- of our logos on you so people know where to get their goods. Budge look, uh, worked hard for this figure. Look, at this point, I appreciate your offer, but um, I 
would say we'd have to consider that. I mean, you can become adventurers, influencers, you know. We already are part of. We could have a lucrative too. working We're relationship. We're already part of the influencers guild too. <laughs> Budge is literally a mover and shaker. <laughs> Let's see how we how well we travel together, and then uh, we can. Yes, we shall have many that. years together to consider yeah. it. All right, I'll do you a deal. If you come back successfully from whatever mission you're on in the mountains, and the Adventurers Guild sign off that you are, <laughs> if you are, well, good heroes, maybe we can talk about a lucrative deal. Sounds good. We'll we'll leave it at that for now. All right. Well. Uh, if you would sign here, I'm assuming you're Kevin for Kevin and the Kevin, so... Absolutely. Well, well, now, are we going with that name, Budge? Do you think that Cal would... I've already signed <laughs> on my caffeine high. When oh, he right. says um... sign here, my name is there. Cal is going <laughs> to hate it. I'm signing. He opens his book to get you to sign it, and you've already signed it? He's like, oh, oh well, never mind. Like, when did I sign it? I'm so fast. He's, like, torn the pages while signing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, as you sign that... little scorch marks for my signature. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, if we're going to travel together, a little trust is necessary. Uh, you can call me Mikhail. Mikhail Tassaro. Give him a firm handshake that would make Hank Hill proud. He returns it. His hand swamps yours. Wait, do they sell a, propane? He's an, and propane accessories? He is an eight foot tall gentleman with very large hands. <laughs> oh, well, that, that gives Kevin the blushies. This gentleman, for anyone who wants to know, he is an Asimar, but a full blooded Asimar. So. Oh, God. They come with issues normally. He's a big angel boy. <laughs> so. so, as you sign off to join. Uh, their outgoing shipment at 4.30. We'll take a quick break here for five minutes. So we will be back in five minutes. And everybody, break.
Well, we're back, but the rest of the party is. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I hope you had a great break. Uh, as you can see, we're waiting for Ty to return, probably with a whole loaf of bread. Yeah, I know. Five minutes, man. Clearly, Budge can't count. He's not a clock, sir. Need to turn him into a chronomancy wizard. When you when you got repaired, they put six fingers on the wrong on one hand and four on the other. <laughs> Reactivate gold thief for Ty. No, I'm not gonna just punish Ty. We need to turn Budge into a pocket watch, so he'll be on time. Oh come on! You better have a whole loaf of bread, my dude. Why? What minus one silver for every minute they're late? <laughs> Man, I was making. I don't have Tommy's mum to make me lunch anymore. I'm gonna make my own. My guy, it's quarter past ten. What do you don't have a lunch? I'm making lunch for tomorrow, champion. I you make mine as well. I made a peanut butter and honey sandwiches. So if you want that, Clint, yeah, I can make you lunch tomorrow. Leave the peanut butter off. You got a deal. All right, deal. Don't like peanut butter or allergic? Don't like it. <gasps> I love peanuts. Don't like peanut butter. No, I can understand that, the way it sticks to your mouth. My favourite part? Oh, yes, my mouth. I get the impression that <laughs> at some <po> <laughs> I get the impression at some point Ty's going to get so lonely he's going to feed some to uh, Nash and make it look like Nash is talking back to him. Nash, I just had peanut butter then with Nash. He loves it. Of course he does. That's what I'm saying. But I talk to Nash whether he talks back to me or not. When he barks at me, I have like arguments with him. I'll be like on the phone and he'll be like, Rah! and I'll be like, you weren't there. You have no idea. And You've then he'll done be like, that Rah! Rah! <laughs> I do it all the time. I literally talk to him all the time as if he's just my rowdy housemate that just refuses to just not be heard. Also, what now that we're all here, can we take a moment to go back and you missed the absolute best joke of all fucking time and you all just grazed over it. Old Bud goes to Bud, something like, oh, oh, um, I just need a minute of your time or something like that. And Bud turns around and hits him with the, oh, I could give you 45 seconds. And you all just skipped over it while I just sat here laughing my ass off. Yeah, because of course we have to move things on sometimes. No, you have to, resp you stopped and found a picture of that for that chick that was just chronically yes. annoying my ADHD. Exactly. Just because, yeah, but this is the thing, I know. I know that Steve will be able to move on, me not reacting to that joke, but your ADHD brain will not move well, on. Well, I couldn't move home. on from everyone not reacting to it. <laughs> I'll just I, have someone heard it. <laughs> your artistic ability is beautiful, Steve, and much like you, and the rest of the gang needs to respect it. <laughs> You're muted, my darling. <laughs> I just said we respect it just subtly in our heads. No, respect it out loud, rambunctiously. I, beg I guarantee pardon. we respect it. Rambunc rambunctious, you mean? Oh, you guys are learning so many words I just have never said out loud, so I'm just, just testing the waters to see you're if they're like, right. You're like uh, Chloe. She like reads a lot, so she learned to pronounce a lot of words by reading. So like if she reads like Game of Thrones, it's like Daenerys, whatever, but she pronounces Daenerys. it like Dane. Whatever, but she pronounces it like Dany. And I'm like, what? What do you think? It's because, These are all... it's because it's da um, Daenerys Targaryen, so it would make more sense that it's Dany as opposed as opposed to Danny. Can yeah. you never do... Stop blocking your nose when you sneeze. That is so bad for you. Your brain will explode out of your ears. Your brain will not explode. That's no, your brain won't explode out of your ears, but my God, it's a pressure release. You can't block the outlet. It's... Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. Fine. Do you want... Do you want to see on stream just... Just cover your mouth with a tissue. Oh, no. I had enough problems with that in high school. I, I have hay fever and problems. No, you don't want to see what's going... Because it's overflow. It's not. How are we all feeling with the game anyway? I'm, I'm over it. I'm out of here. Too enthusiastic. You're over it. <laughs> I, was getting, I was getting like a bit tired. My eyes are so tired, man. But... Uh, I'm not so showing Keegan, you the juicy stuff, everyone. Nope. I maintain Scotty could do it. No, I'm not doing it right to the mic ASMR. No, we're not going to do that. 
He wants to have. Is that like a fetish? Like one of these. One of these okay. days. That one of these, one of these things is a fetish. I Which one have, is it? Yeah. You know what? I will set up my good mic and do a session on my good mic for everybody. No, not that anyone will actually hear. I thought you were going to say sneeze into it. No. Oh, I'd blow out the. Um, she's just like she's I'd, like I'd everyone gather around. Gather around. I'd blow out the condenser and I wouldn't do that. I'm not going to do it. I'm, I would blow out the condenser. It, that's my work, Mike, man. <laughs> I can't do that. You can't break your work, Mike. Why haven't you buy? Why haven't you bought yourself like the exact same really nice mic for your stream setup and just claimed it back on tax? Um, because one, at the moment, I don't pay tax because I'm not in the tax threshold. I don't make enough to pay tax. So, oh, IRS getter. Um, <laughs> The ATO over here, not the IRS. Like, bro, wrong country, man. And like, also, I do have a tax account, and I do go and I do go in and put my tax in every year. I just don't pay tax because I don't earn enough. Oh my god! So, <laughs> Plus, ATO you can only claim so much. You know, Ty, it's because but... she spends all her time working to create a game for you to play. I know. The love and appreciation. Mm. Talking about that, if you like what I do and you like what we do, uh, please hit the subscribe button on in the YouTubes or, you know, actually subscribe how, to this channel. How like, often do you look back at the amazing maps you build? Uh, a lot, actually. I was looking at it all day today. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, in my, it's in my browser. I can't help but look at it. But, um, yeah. I have actually almost Pretty finished cool. the Rising Dominion for the Saturday game so that you guys can eventually head to the capital city in that game. Doesn't so. matter. You're about to fucking kill me. Is that the one where I named the building? Um, yes. Budge, oh, yes. Budge, oh, right. Jun Budge Jr.'s Rubs and Tugs is in there. Oh, Hugs no, and Tugs. I find out about it on stream. I was gonna oh, say, no, I'm pretty sure it. you already told me about it. Uh, we've, we've, also, we've also got... <laughs> we've also got uh, Kev's... Uh, oh, big Harbour big for Kev Little Boats. Port of Little Boats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got Kev's... <laughs> Little port for big boats, um, and I need to little somewhere in the world put boats. in Evil's big port. Uh, sorry, little port for big boats. So, so, <laughs> yep. So everyone's to, the boats are directional. Hey, you at the port, are you? Yep. Which one? Oh. So, little port or big port? Uh, so that that map is almost finished. I'm just putting in the last houses and stuff now. Um, I didn't finish it on stream because, as everyone can hear, I do have the flu. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish streaming the map build of that. So Don't apologise, Tegan. I do apologise because... Don't I... apologise to them, the riffraff. I, I, I love my followers. And... Demand that they give you money. Otherwise, you will not stream anymore. Well, they must pay for your services. Eventually, I'll, have your eventually I'll get a PayPal up and running, and I will make the maps available as part of PayPal tiers and stuff. So oh, cool. we'll see. Wait, um, you going to just print the cream? What? PayPal or Patreon? Only Patreon. Fans? That's the one. Patreon. Okay, like set up a PayPal. <laughs> PayPal has tiers. That doesn't. No, make Patreon. Sense. Like I said, I'm tired. Okay. Anyway, we'll jump yeah, back yeah. in. <laughs> yeah. <okay>. So. <laughs> Uh, See if we can get out of the city, guys. After you... After... Hey! Clint! D &D oh, I'm not doing D&D &D only fans. You can get Hud you can get Hudson Hawk to take his clothes off. Go for it. Um, I owe fans. money on my only fans. Yeah. So... <laughs> they find you. You finish up your business with um, the All Black Trading Company. Um, as Cal and Hudson rejoin you... As Kevin is sitting on his twelfth coffee for the afternoon, <laughs> that's a lot of coffees. Roll a con save again for me. Future. Well, I if you don't want to have twelve coffees, you don't have to have twelve coffees. No, I'm gonna have had twelve coffees. Like all I've been doing is one after another, just ordering. Yeah, you know, sure. Roll me another. Good. Roll me another con save. Let's see how we go. Uh... Have you shat Ooh. yet? After all these coffees, champion. <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh, with that, that is a fail, my dude, as you feel the power, the energy of a thousand lithium batteries fuel every vein in your body. The world slows down. Everything is in Technicolor. You can see the dust specks in complete full zoom 
as you feel that you are moving faster than the speed of sound, the speed of light. A chow. You are, to everyone watching, you are mildly vibrating in your seat. You got the coffee shakes real bad. I'm feeling good. <laughs> feeling better like than I've ever felt before. Your eyes, you're just eyes, are, because you've got the big black yeah. kind of seal eyes, they're just really wide. You look full anime girl. Just Can you only talk at super speed now? Yeah. I, I don't have that in me. Rough. But, Cal, Hudson, you return to see Doc and Budge sitting next to a vibrating <laughs> Kevin. I am speed, one winner, 42 losers, eight losers for breakfast. Speed, faster than fast, quicker than quick. I am lightning. <laughs> the real question is, did uh, did he have to copy-paste that or did he know it off by heart? Oh, he'd know it off by heart. I love that movie. Does he know it in Spanish? The only true way to watch the cars. Yeah. It, it is. Anyway. If you watch it in Japanese, it's an anime. Anyway, that aside, Kevin, would you like to do anything? In your super heightened state. Oh, what can I do in my super you state? Can, you can fucking do whatever you like. Do anything. The principles of matter do not exist here right now. I would like to, uh... Just pull an elaborate prank on Cal. Go for it. What do you want to do? I'm going, Come on, to, I'm going to tie his shoes together without him noticing. Hilariously, you think you are acting super fast. You are giggling to yourself as Cal is just watching you do this. Excellent. That's exactly what I want. I'm going to be completely honest. Why is... What What have I missed? What What's he doing? What's He's he doing? giggling uncontrollably. <laughs> It's taking you a little bit longer because in your haste and your speed, you are tying your fingers into it. <laughs> I'm just there. Hudson, I don't know what to do with is he always like this? Um, uh, I haven't seen him do that before. As you look over, you can see that there's like just littered cream filled glass, empty glasses, like cream rimmed empty glasses all over the table. I, I think he's rabid. He's got foam all around his mouth. I I think he's <laughs> highly caffeinated. It's, what the uh, fuck happened? You pull, I'm feeling good. You pull the bows together out of cow shoes. You run off with a goblin giggle. <laughs> Go hide in a corner. <laughs> But watching, like, I'm, like, over the counter just <laughs> watching him, waiting for him to take a step. Because yeah. I think he doesn't know. I'm like, there's no way he saw yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. Because Cal is moving super slow. Like, to you, it's like, Hudson, is he always? <laughs> <laughs> and you just watch as he, like, Batman leaps, like, two hands on the table, or on the bar, like, both legs just over and duck down and just you just see these two big eyes come up over the edge. Hard to look at Doc and go. <laughs> just just pointing. The hell is, is that? Are you Hudson. It'll sort itself out. Okay. Let's be honest, he does realise we can see him, right? Hey who? Yeah. It's just a Where'd he go? goblin like <laughs> maniacal <laughs> laughing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's my goblin. Oh, Cal, you missed it. Budge did a business and starts sitting back all smugly in his chair. Oh, really? How'd you go, Budge? Good. He, um. He haggled us to a worse payment uh unfortunately went from 30 gold down to 24 gold per person per day sounds yeah. like success yeah. to budge it's actually the opposite of success budge but budge. Try, nonetheless i'm very budge. proud of you for trying please please double check with someone before you agree to things so we didn't get a discount you, uh welcome 
no, they got a discount because we convinced them <laughs> to take the discount. Budge was very convincing. I'll, uh, I'll you know, just say that. Budge knows his numbers. Actually, Budge, um, if we get paid less, that means we have less gold. So, in, in, in the case where we're Budge getting paid, we want it to be more gold, not less. But when you go to the shop, you want it to be less gold. Okay, um, but answer I'm Budge confused. this. Is 24 a high number? No. Or is it not a high number? 30 is higher than 24. Are both high numbers to Budge? All right, um, so is... 22 higher than 21. Look, maybe. Look, you can't. I don't look. I don't know budge like you do, so can't. you can't. You can't, lady. He's not. But numbers have to be in a specific order, I, otherwise, I, there's just chaos. I, I get that, and you get that, and I'm pretty sure Hudson gets it, and I don't really think Kevin gets anything at the moment. He's in his own little world. But Budge, <laughs> Kevin already knew all the answers uh, before. By the way, I'll, Cal, I'll have you moved? Out, I'm I haven't moved yet. No, <laughs> I I am asleep now. I've I've hit the <laughs> the caffeine oh, has gone. I've crashed. I'm just where I was hiding to look. I'm just asleep there. <laughs> I'm asleep there. Yeah, that's accurate. Yeah. Um, look, Budge, do you know how to count? Vaguely. Look, we've got all day to kill until 4.30 p.m. I'm going to teach you the correct order of the numbers because this is really important. All right? Sounds fun. Can I can I interest you? All the way up. How, what how happens high? at 4.30? A, a thousand, we'll say. We can go higher than that, but we don't really need to know more than a thousand for now. What What, what is happening? Yeah. What happens at 4.30? Oh yeah, uh, the business. We should, things. we should do. Th we should explain things first. Um, not going to jump the gun. So, Budge, would you like to try to explain what deal that you you? I know we sort of had a problem with the numbers, but what deal did you broker? So, we made two new friends. Accurate. Uh -huh. Okay, and I, I look at Doc for just confirmation that that is in fact accurate. Not all off. Accurate, yeah. <laughs> and okay. we are going to go with them on a holiday. Good so far. Up the mountain. Not really a holiday, a job, but yes. For money, holiday money. for money. Good paid vacation. Paid vacation. Okay, we go with that. Big money, thanks to Budge. Doc seems to be telling me otherwise. <laughs> Medium money. <laughs> I did initially try for three gold. But... <laughs> so, hold on. You're giving Bud shit for 24 gold when you tried three? Uh, yes, but at least I caught myself and said 30. <laughs> anyway, the numbers don't matter. All right? Well, they do matter. They're very important. <laughs> but uh, Budge did help to broker this deal, didn't you? Yeah. How many days work is this, just out of curiosity? It sounds like two or three. Okay. Which is more than one. Yeah, it's good work. Oh, I but... really need to teach you these numbers. Yes. Oh, hey, Budge, you're killing it. Um, good work, Budge. Yeah, so we're just going to escort the caravan into the mountains. They're going to continue on without us, but um, we will part ways when we get close to our destination. Okay. All right, and since I don't have too many plans for the rest of the day, I'm going to make sure that oh, 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 I've got... here knows the correct order of the numbers. You can you can teach him the numbers all day. I've tried; doesn't really work. But Hudson's going to be a gladiator. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Before can... we go on a big trip. He can, he can't he can wait we come back. It's a warm up. Exactly, big we boy. Rob, I warm up at three a.m. this morning. I walk over and I like put my hands on his shoulders. I'm like, the big boy needs to warm up. It's just going to be a little in and out. Like, you he, almost win. Died. he almost died like six hours ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. But not this time. We'll be in. We'll be out. We'll make a few quick gold. You almost. Died. I need a win, Doc. Oh, 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 it's like a confidence booster, not actually yeah. a warm up. So it's a, it's not a warm up. It's a confidence booster. Okay. I, I need a win. All right. Uh, fight me then. What? I kick Hudson in the nuts. <laughs> if he, or in the cloaca, sorry. 
I'm not intervening. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> well, what'd you do that for? To piss you off. And uh, let's arm wrestle right now. Because I bet your sissy ass can't beat me. You couldn't even beat that Minotaur last night. Honestly, what the fuck is going on here? Well, the doesn't know, but it looks fun. Back, back, Doc. I'll offer my hand. Come on. It's up. Damn! <laughs> Why is that so loud? <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared now. Uh, you see, like, <laughs> this sweat just dripping down Doc's face. He's so thin, by the way. Doc is really thin. <laughs> <laughs> i grab his hand. Oop. What do I roll? Athletics. Or acrobatics. I'm not acrobating a strength check. That doesn't make sense. All right. Oh. Are you kidding me? That's right, you pussy. I told you. Put your fucking back into it. Doc's the strongest. Round two. Let's go. I, 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 think I, I, I think I injured him when I kicked him in the cloaca. I, I, I walk over and I like massage his shoulder. I'm like, come on, big boy. You can't let him. You can't lose to this little scrawny I, little stick. I look Doc in the eyes and I say, I'm <laughs> Hudson in the eyes. Hudson. I think you doubt yourself after this morning. If you beat me, you can go fight in the gladiatory arena. If you lose this round, you just gotta follow along into the mountains. Okay. Are you gonna are you gonna get serious about this? I start banging my head on the on the table. Wait, 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 wait. S settle down, big boy. No. That's not I want this. Get angry. <laughs> I don't get angry. I get even. <laughs> All right, let's do I'm this. Going, I'm going round two. We're going round two. I'm pull my hand up again. That's so scary every time you do that, Clint. <laughs> he did it. All right. You, you didn't let uh, me win, did you? No, I went as hard as I could. But to be honest, my wrist was probably strained from the first round. Uh, look. Um, okay. You won fair and square. Now you need to go and kick someone's ass. Yeah. And if do. you lose in this gladiatorial battle or whatever, just know that you can still beat me. Because <laughs> I'm a pussy. And I, I grab his bicep and give it a like squeeze. Oh, look at that. Sweet, sweet muscle. He gives a weak smile. Does Kev have uh, shoelaces? <laughs> no, I wear boots. Do boots yeah. have shoelaces on them? Or are they like leather? No, they're like, they're like work boots. So you got yeah. bootstraps? No, I, I guess they're like fancy slippers. Not slippers, but like the uh, dress slipper. shoes that don't have the laces. Boots that you slip on. Yeah. So, <laughs> but you have a cape, don't you? Uh, I have my silky skin. <laughs> That's not a cape. <laughs> That's part of his body. It's yeah, it's like a body part. <laughs> mm. Oh, you can take it off. It is like a cloak. You can take it off. Yeah, but like it's not. It's not something be, you willingly it, want it would, to take off in case it gets stolen. I would assume it would be pretty fucked to take a sulky skin off them without them knowing. <laughs> to take it off without them knowing, yes. Like it would be like a bad thing to do to another person. Like a oh really yeah, it's because thing. if you lose your silky skin, you won't be able to turn into a seal. It's like losing a part of yourself. It would be borderline racist. That is a big no no. <laughs> okay, well let's. It would let's... be like I would take your hand. Okay, just, let's just bite it off at the wrist. Hum. I would like to point out I was never taking it. I was going. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I wanted to let you know on the magnitude of what you were like. How, how big of a... You know, because you're like, what about your cape? And I'm like, well, bear that in mind. Well, I face. was just going to spin it around so the hood was over your face. But... <laughs> oh, do that. Please do it. Please do it. 
Because, <laughs> yeah, what happens then? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, he's already done it. He already said it. Didn't he? Yeah. Okay. It, uh, Are you, but I just want to uh, double check that you're allowing it. I'll allow it. I will transform into a fucking seal. Yeah, you're, he pulls your hood over you, and in the middle... No, no, I don't pull it over that way. I want to spin it around and no, put it, it on, so he's looking my, into the hood. It goes no, over my head, it it's only, on. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter which if, way you turn it, it on. If it's on, it is on. Yeah. And I turn oh, into and a seal. And as you do so, and you pull it over his head, all of a sudden your hands lose traction on what was once fabric to you, and you are staring up into the dulcet soulful eyes of a little fuzzy seal because you're a harbor oh, seal I... you're a fur seal harbor seal i'm a fur seal yeah, yeah, a yeah. Weddle. So first... do i have to roll a fright check on this did i know this was a thing that happened i am I flailing know. immediately just wait wait yeah what there's no feet he just, there's no feet there's just boom and he's got his little flippers so you know what sea lions kind of look like cal oh ty oh ty. oh yeah. Yeah, he's kind of fuzzy like a sea lion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... Super cute. <laughs> so these three knew that he did that. Yes. Budge and I did not. Do have we have to you... roll well, something? this is the thing, Cal. Have you been to the coast before? I mean, probably like Have you once. been to a bathhouse before? I'm sure Surely I may. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, chances are you've heard of Selkies, but, okay, you may not have known the ins and outs of if you pulled their hood over their oh, head, they yeah. turn into a seal. So yeah. while you suspected from his coloration and his eyes that he was a Selkie, you didn't know. So the actual change, the transformation, is a shock to you. As there is a seal at your feet looking up at you with big but don't bludgeon me eyes. Did, did you know that he did that? <laughs> I'm, I want to point out, as soon as it happened, I'm mind. flailing around. I'm like, I'm panicked. I didn't know what was going on, and I'm suddenly wrong. Okay, Kevin. <laughs> Got less limbs. <laughs> Do, does Hudson or Doc know how you change back? Like, would that be something that you've done previous interactions? Oh, yeah, no, surely. I'd, I'd say I almost immediately, like, pull off. and then. <laughs> oh, so you're okay. And then I'm like, so don't. Don't yeah, do that. You watch him yeah, pull, don't ever do that. You watch him pull Cal. his flippers like, up. As the hood comes off, he has a seal body still, but it's like Kevin's head. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, there's a half transformation <laughs> stage too. I can, I can half transform. <laughs> oh, my Kevin's back. Elkies are cool. <laughs> they become I'm... basically mermaids, essentially. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be... I'm, I'm at Cal, and I'm like flipper at him. I'm like... <laughs> Don't ever do that. That is not cool. <laughs> How was I meant to know that you were going to do that? Also, you started this. <laughs> Just don't go touching people. You touched me first. Listen here, little seal boy. You touched me first. There's a big difference between touching someone's shoes and touching their silky skin. Yeah, that, that's a part of me. Silky oh skin? That is a part of me, and you cannot go around touching it. <laughs> you touch me first. Don't fucking come at me with your. No, no, no. no, no. no. I'm touching your shoes. All you right? listen you here, seal boy. Me. You violated me. <laughs> well, you touch me first. Me I was just turning your hood around so that it was going to be nighttime permanently for you, and when you woke up, you'd be a little bit freaked out. No, I touched your shoes. You violated me. This is not a fair damn. comparison. That's absolutely off the table. Oh my god. Do not do that. Um, do we, I'm, I'm taking off the rest. We're not the gladiator's pit. Oh, we're going to the gladiator's pit. After the day I've had, and the night I had, I want to see Hudson belt the fuck out of something. Oh, we're still going. Well, unless anyone has yeah, other have options. 30, so, uh, look, uh, Hudson has given me a taste of his ferocity, but we need some more. So, we need you at full capacity. Oh, God, I realized who we're going. Fine, fine. One. Fine. We got time. Okay. So, let's, let's do this. Uh, what are the criteria for this? Like, you just have to be strong. Or athletic or something. Honestly, they just said no magic. So, I mean, besides that, I think it's anything okay. goes. Yeah. Hudson's got this then. All right. Can we gamble? Oh, yes. We can fucking gamble. Thank God. Cool. 
Yay. Except for you, Budge. They they said, um, anyone who it's all right. knows more than five fish isn't allowed to gamble. Oh, dang it. I know. It's really, it's so annoying that they all have these laws, but oh, Do- Doc will help you with a little one. Maybe he'll put one in your his name for you. Uh, I will, if you can learn all the numbers up to 100 you can bet you can gamble and i'll, I'll help you with that is that a lot it's 100 that's how many all right if so both knew what a hundred 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 is. we wouldn't be in this situation he if has I, he's got a point i show you how many fingers i have i have 10 fingers okay so i'll show you how to count one two and i'll just <laughs> as we're walking <laughs> I'll, I'll show him how, at least how to count to ten for now. It's so so yeah, it. to make sure I <laughs> Okay. You can maybe like uh, later on. You can do like an intelligence check or something to see how well you take it in or something. Yeah. Whatever you want to yeah. do. That's good. You could just say you don't take it in if you don't. No, I'm I'm interested to leave it up to the dice. I, I, while we're walking and you're teaching Budge, then I'm like walking, like I'm imagining Hudson's like a big strong boy, and I'm like in and out of like Andre's wings, and I'm like, you've got this, you've got this, like you're gonna. You're Honestly, good. yeah, I'm just, I'm just hyping Huds up. I'm just like, you got, you got it, you got it. Yeah, I, I, I'm just that tiny little scrawny fellow that's just like weaving in and out from underneath your arms. I'm like figure eighting around you, sort of, as I'm like more focused on like. We're going to gamble, and I'm excited about that, but also, like, I'm trying to psych you up as best I can on the way. Okay. So, you make your way to the uh, Golden Pride, which is... You've actually got... To, before you get to the arena, you actually make your way to the Golden Pride, which is over towards here. If I... Watch, this is going to mess things up over here. Over there for everybody. You see it? Be there? Yep. Cool. Absolutely. Uh, as you get there, um, you see that it is a stone building. Inside is a desk. You can see that there are chalkboards, big chalkboards that are separated out that you can see the names of the fighters and whatnot as you head on through. Um, sitting behind the desk with a large book, uh, you notice that there are several people here who are already putting in bets and whatnot. Um, behind him, on the chalkboard, you can see the names of Justica, Magna, um, Lornloth, Henna, and you can see that they seem to be the gladiators on the tally for the day. Um, behind the uh, behind the actual bookie desk, there you can see that there's a piece of glass up in front of him with a hole where you'd put your money and whatnot, and he's taking names, and um, you can see the odds for each fight. Um, and the highest ranked above all, Dave. <laughs> Fuck. Dave the Gladiator. No. Um, there is a elven gentleman. Um, you can't tell how tall he is, but he is a rather, rather slim looking gentleman. He has dark wavy hair, a dark, lush looking, uh, handlebar moustache, golden eyes, and he's wearing a blue vest with a dragon pin uh, on the collar. For those of the players, let me show you uh, the cursed. I shouldn't need to say, but uh, evil one will know this gentleman. I have reused him. He will be re- reborn in a. He'll be reborn in like fifty thousand years and have his moustache ripped off. He just keeps getting reincarnated. Yeah. (laughs) This gentleman, you can see his name Marolo on his chest. Um, As the crowd dwindles, eventually you come to the front of the line. Hello. Hello, hello. Hey. Hi. Uh, Who would you like to bet on? This guy here. And you are, sir? Hudson Hawk. Hudson. The amazing Hudson Hawk. Hudson Hawk. Wonderful. Ooh, I like that. Wonderful. Well, you got to add the amazing. 
Hudson Hawk, the amazing. Normally we give it. No, no, no. The other way around. The amazing Hudson Hawk. <coughs> Normally we give you your own titles, but if you want to go the amazing Hudson Hawk, that's fine. Are you? Uh, you feel like... I'm assuming so. You are an Arakokra? Is that what I am? He's a burb. Arakokra. Uh, preferred fighting style, sir. Arakokra? He's pigeonkin. <laughs> preferred fighting style? Yes. Do you have a fighting style? I mean, it seems to be hand to hand. I crunch things. Yeah. I like brawling. Yeah. That's it, brawling. One moment, please. Bear with me one second. Hey, Scotty and uh, Clint may be able to answer this. Um, I have gambling as a background, and one of my features is never tell me the odds, which means that um, odds and probability are your bread and butter during activities that involve games of chance or figuring odds on the best plan. You can get a solid sense of which choice is the best one and which opportunities seem to be good or to be true at the DM's detriment. Does that mean I can use this odds to help us put Hudson against the fight that he's going to win? Like, it needs more chance of winning? Potentially. Yeah. That guy. Also, uh, Cal, you'd be probably good at, like, identifying what games are easier to win and things like yeah. that, too. Okay, so it, has, it doesn't work with something like this where, although I'm going to be gambling on it and there is the, the odd... Because I imagine it's like a horse bracket. You've got the odds of which fighters are top yeah. performers. If you knew all the fighters... So gambling on Hudson would give us more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is because my my question was with it. Can I tell? Can I look at the bracket and go, okay, this horse, like this fighter is paying this much, therefore he's more of a threat. So we don't want Hudson to be up against him. Thank you, everyone, for telling me I'm muted. Uh, he's he's against a fist fighter, so he's going to do better against a Cestus, okay. as opposed Sweet. to, for example, Lornloth, who is a bestiaris, which means you would be fighting animals. Uh, a gladiatrix, you could potentially go against a gladiatrix because it's just a female gladiator. Um, however, the Arbalus, she is a bit of an iffy one because she kind of works with divination, like, foreshadowing kind of being able to tell where you are so if you want a harder fight if you want a harder fight you could probably go against the arbelis uh because she'll i would be able like to, she'll have like tremor sense and be able to tell where you're predict where you're moving i, I want to set hudson up with the the easiest win because all docs pointed out it's an ego thing at this point too plus i want to make a quick coin okay so then your choices are the cestus or the gladiatrix Like Hudson wouldn't want to beat up a gladiatrix because it's very noble, right? No, Hudson doesn't care. Hudson's yeah, red uh, hu Yeah, the, the hammer of justice is unisex. Who, who's paying more for him to beat? Less than right. Um, both are very talented in their own field. Um, I mean, Hudson's still going to end up with a ten to one win kind of thing. Uh. Well, Hudson, honestly, I can't see there being a difference between the two. It's just who who has a more punchable face at this point. Or more punchable name, I guess. Good criteria. <laughs> uh, just flip a coin? All right, flip a coin. Personally, I think you should go for the Cestus, but... God spoken, Cestus it is. My... my... Never tell me the odds has tingled and told me that... It depends. Do you want to f fight someone who looks a bit like Cal, or do you want to fight... A hot, muscular woman. Well, sorry. Well, if, Cal, you, if, Cal you've got to take in the secondary part, 
if he fights the hot muscular woman, we all get to see the image of that. Oh. Yeah. I vote, I vote, I vote, I vote. Well, why is my Tegan secretly saying <laughs> No, I... Look, Hans, I know that... Punching the shit out of this <laughs> big, strong muscle mummy Snoo, would be chat. absolutely amazing. But honestly, I think we take take the little fella, teach him that this isn't his playground anymore, and that there's a new big hawk on the th- on the on the on the playground, and we'll work our way up when we come back fr- back to town. All oh, right, that that we'll go with that one. Okay, so against the Cestus, got it. Any other ones fighting? Uch, you want to make a quick buck? Okay. No, 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 you're learning to count. You're learning to count. No, don't get greedy. But just learning to count. They could, they could do a, like a, a team game or something after that. Maybe, I don't know. If there's two when, v2. When we, yeah, when we, come, when we come back, we'll we'll look yeah. at a 2v2. What about when we come back, yeah. I mean, the gentleman can fight if he wants. He'll still make money. We pay, well, today, our, we pay our fighters. Today is, today is about our man Hudson. And uh, we'll be back again in town shortly, so we can fight again. Sounds good. All right. Hudson takes the spotlight for today. All right. Hudson Hawk against Cestus Magna. Let's do this. Got it. We bet oh, cool. Do we bet elsewhere? I don't know. He'll take your money. How much would you like to bet? To... He'll take our money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Will, he, will he apply the appropriate bet? And yeah. pay it out. Yeah, pay it out. Okay. You get you get a little ticket stub and everything. I, I believe in our main man. I just want to put that out there. Hudson is Hudson's beautiful. And I'm gonna put one hundred and twenty five gold on him. Jesus! Which it's, like, it's a ten to one if he wins. Yeah, I'm I'm putting it in do I just subtract that now? Yep. Okay, excellent. I'll do that. Is Budge allowed to gamble or not? How many numbers do you know? Roll a D100 to see how many of the numbers you've learned. Oh, uh, yeah. He did a five intelligence roll, so... Maybe it's just like a D10 to see how many numbers out of ten he learned. <laughs> I don't know. Budge he would have learned numbers. some. He would have learned some, but just probably not that much. Budge, Budge, Budge knows zero and one. <laughs> and 24. And 24. <laughs> It's zero, one, three, twenty-four. Okay, 30. so is Budge making a deal? Doc, can you gamble for me? Uh, all right, Budge. Um, count to ten. Use your fingers. One. Ten. All right, Budge. I, I can't let you gamble. Until you can learn to count. Dang it! <laughs> he like breaks like a chunk out of a wall or some shit. Table. You watch. I'm just gonna go out in the corner. You watch as Bookie Marolo like dusts away the the sawdust. You know what, Budge? I've got an idea. I just need some parchment, so let me go get that. I'm gonna go get some like scrap paper or parchment from somewhere nearby if I can. Okay. Um. And when I come back, so these guys are probably like placing their bets or whatever. But when I come back, I'm gonna start drawing a pond, and in that uh, pond, I'm gonna start drawing fish. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a hundred. I'm gonna I'm gonna look Hudson in the eye, and I'm gonna say, honestly, mate, you've got this. And I put a hundred on Hudson. Hey, yeah. it's all your money, mate. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a sneaky fitty down. Can you okay. roll stealth for that one? 50 gold on Hudson. <laughs> roll stealth. No, roll stealth. It was a sneaky 50. Okay. <laughs> Slide of hand. Slide of hand, actually. Okay, anyone else know. betting? Last bet's in. Hudson, you want to bet on yourself? Is that allowed? No one else is allowed to bet. Can I Can I bet on myself? Yeah. I love if he just bets against himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then he throws the match. Well, technically, yeah. the only thing he can't do is he can't bet against himself because that could lead to him throwing the oh. match to win. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I got five gold. On yourself? Yep. I'm going to throw in a secondary bet, 25 gold, and I'm going to give uh, Budge the ticket. 
Oh no. And be like, this is for you, bud. This th no, you're rewarding him for something he hasn't done yet. Oh wait. No, no, no. no. This is just Kevin, between me and Bud Kevin. to smooth the wheels of friendship. <laughs> That's bribery. Kevin. Yeah. And Bud and just Bud's receptive to it. I'm going to teach you about bribery as well. Good. <laughs> Kevin, Good. He's not meant to be gambling yet. He can't count past <laughs> ten. He's not sure gambling. He... It's my money. <laughs> The no, fight no. was scratched at the last minute. Your new opponent, Billy Bob. Hey, I'm willing to do that if it means Craig comes in and plays Billy Bob for one session just to wreck you. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if the card changes, all bets are off. Yeah, yeah that voids the bets. As a gambling okay. man, I know how this works. Okay, so... I'll take it. So, he has guns. Lots of them. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he can't use it. Use them in a brawl. Although I have had a secondary request that potentially we put in the silver shadow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you want to fight Arashi either. He's fighting this other motherfucker. Yeah, he's Stop. fighting the sexy, sexy muscle mummy. No, he's not. He's fighting the little well, weenie my, boy. My problem is I can't, I can't oh. name drop Arashi because if anyone knew Arashi was coming, he would be a really bad assassin. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He just drops in unannounced <laughs> and like murders a whole ship full of people. We will discuss your potential suggestion later if one and Tide Runner. However, as you make your way out of the betting arena and your way around to the gladiatorial arena, uh, you walk through the large archway into the stone building. You can hear the sounds of people's feet. On the, on the wooden steps above your head as they're moving into position, getting ready for this bout of fighting. Um, you can smell popcorn, you can hear cheering, you can hear th the noises of the vuvuzelas. <laughs> as you are walking through, you can see um, one or two of the you can see one or two of the fighters to one side uh, getting ready. The gladiatrix is getting for ready for her fight, um, which just because I know you guys want to see the gladiators, I'll show you guys. Uh, she is an eight foot tall woman with long blonde hair. She has very defined muscles. She has red um fabric covering her leather belts around her waist you can see sharpened daggers hanging from those belts as you see but gladiatrix that's... hannah mommy sorry <laughs> came out came out bro. Yeah, oh, that's the death by snoozy if i ever saw one as... <laughs> sign me when, up when you while you are remarking on that, you do hear a noise. It is a very heavy sound. You hear almost a dragging to it as well. Like it's got some... Whatever is being dragged along has some weight to it. As, as a group of people part to move up into the stands and you see long dark hair down oh. this woman's oh. back she's got very pale skin but the thing that throws you is this woman if she was to stand at her full height would easily be 10 feet tall especially because she is dragging easily seven feet of snake tail behind her oh huh snake tail oh, Baddie. That's Cal's favorite kind of tail. Mm. You hear the sharpening. Of, you hear the sharpening of blades. Um, yeah, I'll just buy that. Good thing I'm sitting in the crowd. <coughs> you hear the sharpening of blades as over on a grindstone you see another tall gentleman, seven feet tall. He's got kind of tawny coloured skin, you see. As a waft of breeze comes through and lifts his hair, you see a huge scar across his nose as he's intently grinding away, sharpening the side of his blade. As you see, Bestiaris Lornleth. He is a Leonin. Hmm. 
As you prepare, walking around to his entrance, as you are heading towards your own, you kind of cross paths with your, the person you might be fighting. He stands at five foot ten. You can see that every inch of his body is just muscle. He has a dark red glare as he looks at you. You can see he's very much got his game face on as he removes his carved red mask to look at you. He quirks a cocky smile, nods his head and moves to his own opening, waiting for his fight with you. As you get to lay your eyes for the first time on your opponent, Cestus Magna. And on that note, that is where we will end tonight. (laughs) Yeah, his his name tracks. He is a fire ganasi for anyone who wants to know. So. And he's a baddie. He is a baddie. Why is everyone a baddie? Have you seen him? I can't help it. I want to verse people that are goodies. Hey, hey, Teagues, just a quick question. Is the picture for Hannah uh, just from the TV show Spartacus? Probably. I don't know where I get a lot of my artwork. It all comes from Pinterest, so this is part of the yeah. reason why I can't show it. Yeah, sometimes it's like Skyrim or something like that. Yeah. I'm like 95% sure. Oh. Yeah, I do remember a, a bit of Skyrim lore somewhere in one of the campaigns. Yeah, yeah, well, and this is because I get a lot of my artwork from Pinterest. This is why I can't show the viewers at home because it's not my artwork to claim. Um, and I would hate to do that to hardworking artists who work very <laughs> for a long time on their art pieces. So I yeah, try my I best to describe them for the viewers at home. However, this is where we reach the end of our session for this fortnight. We will be back in two weeks to pick up with Hudson's fight against the Gladiator. And Hot let's stuff. see. Let's see if everybody wins some money, shall we? Uh, thank you to everybody who watched along at home, who commented. We, I hope you really enjoy what we're doing here. Uh, hopefully, at the end of next session, we will end up leaving town. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, but thank you for watching. Uh, drink plenty of water. Get plenty of rest. Look after yourself. We hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening or night, wherever you are in the world. If you like what we do, want to catch up on this, re-watch this, you can catch it over on my YouTube channel of the same name because I do upload it over there, uh, Boo Meadow. If you want to leave us comments, you can do that in the comment section over there or on Twitter, which is Booberry Meadows. Otherwise, we'll be back in two weeks. Um, yeah. Or otherwise, go go check out Uzu Mecca. Go check out uh, Steve. They have Twitch channels as well. They do some great stuff over there. I think, Kevin, you join them sometimes. Uh, on occasion. On when occasion. we're really struggling for content. Yeah, when they're really struggling to get the views, they pull in the big guns. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, go watch them. And we will see you all in a fortnight for to watch Hudson get his ass kicked by a nah, gladiator. Hudson's going to win. What? Hudson is going to fucking win. We'll yeah. Hudson's going to win. Assert his dominance. We'll see. Either way, see you in a fortnight. Have a good night, guys. Look after yourselves. Bye. 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 Bye.